That means that that silly little groundhog has seen a shadow and we are stuck with six more weeks of snow, but it also means that it is Super Bowl Sunday, which also means that it is the TVL League Championship meet. Here we are once again at Keefe Tech, Kevin Legassi, along with Raj, Raj. Well, I'm gonna pronounce your name wrong again, Raj. Can you, uh, you are on camera. Introduce yourself, Raj. Yeah, hi, hello everyone. So Raj is on camera with me tonight. Uh, this afternoon, and we are here for the TVL Championship meet. Uh, why don't you pan the audience a little bit? Actually, if you want, pan the audience. You don't need to look at me. I'm going to be reading some stuff for a minute. Uh, so what we, we've got all seven teams from the TVL, and even though the TVL Championship has been determined by uh, uh, the win of Ashland over Hopkinton, uh, this meet is for bragging rights, and the meet is going to be a little bit differently. I'm going to describe very quickly about the meet. So different uh, than most meets, we are going to swim men and women separately. They will score together, and combined scores will uh, determine the team winner. So both scores are combined for the teams. We have all seven teams, like I said, from the TVL here. The first 12 places, uh, from regardless of what heat you're swimming in, the first 12 places will earn points for their team. In the relays, the same thing, the first 12 places. Each team can score as many as three individual swimmers in the top 12. Four relays, each team can score two relays. In this particular meet format, Hopkinton's depth is going to have an incredible advantage, and we'll see whether or not they can overcome the deficits that they have in some of the, the deficit they had in uh, the Ashland meet, uh, where Ashland is strong, Hopkinton is deep, and we'll see if Hopkinton can prevail this afternoon. What I'd like to do also is go through on Friday, the TVL started at Westwood with the diving and the 500. I want to go through very quickly the top three and then also let you know how Hopkinton placed for the balance of their swimmers. For the girls diving, the one meter diving, taking first place, senior from Hopkinton, Maddie Staus. In second place from Westwood was Cashman Murphy. And in third place, also from Hopkinton, Brianna Taco. Also placing from Hopkinton in the top 12 was freshman Juliana Lucas and also placing in the top 12 at uh, Juliana Lucas was at sixth position and in 12th position was Heather Villani. Great showing for the Hopkinton divers. On the men's side, from Dover Shoreburn, Zach Lawrence took first. Second, Jack Brennan Jr. from Hopkinton. In third, Coleman Baker from Norton. Also placing Liam McGinnis at sixth place for Hopkinton. Also placing in the top 12, Nicopolis freshman from Hopkinton. Another good showing for the Hopkinton divers. In the 500, taking first, Paris, uh, Pari Amadi from Medfield. Junior Abby Fisher from Hopkinton takes second. And Annie Rivera from Norton takes third. Also placing in the top 12, Alyssa Fisher in sixth from Hopkinton. And also Kate Le uh, Kate Legassi placing 12th from Hopkinton. Another good showing for the girls. On the men's side, for the top 12, taking first from Ashland, sophomore Jack Emberly. Senior from Ashland, Johnny Perez. And taking third in an incredible race, Captain Zach Holbrow from Hopkinton. Also placing in the, also placing in the top 12 for Hopkinton. El Delfino Colin Tyne places fifth. Also from Hopkinton, Andrew DeLeva places seventh. And that rounds out Hopkinton scoring in the top 12 for the men's 500. Coming into today, after the diving in the 500 results, Hopkinton holds a narrow lead over Ashland, 56 to 47. This, the team standings coming into this meet today, Hopkinton first, Ashland second, Dover Sherbourne, Holliston, followed by Norton, Medfield, Dedham, and Westwood. It's gonna be a long afternoon today, folks, full with a lot of exciting swimming and a lot of competition, a lot of sportsmanship. Sit tight, if you want something to eat, go get it now. We've probably got three or four hours worth of swimming coming your way. 
And again, because we've got some heat sheets, we'll be able to talk about all the swimmers from all the teams as best we can. But because this is Hopkinton, we are going to play home field advantage. And we'll focus mostly on the Hopkinton swimmers as well and their placement. From time to time, we'll try to get you a score update. And what we're going to do right now is we're going to take a quick break as we have about 10 minutes before the meet starts. And we'll sign off and join you back in a couple so of minutes. So, Denise, you're running the marathon. I am. You are? Uh, we'll Why? try to run the marathon. Uh, you're going to try to run the marathon. Why are you running the marathon? Um, to raise monies for the class of 2018, the graduating 2018, class. 2018, this, this, this class. This graduating class. Okay. And so how do you, how do you go about doing this? What, what do you do? Um, I'm training. Um, yep. I put out a bid for the... Uh, for the uh, bib so, that they so the get class, from the, the board of So the class got a bib from the board of select bid. Yeah. Because they give, the, the BA gives the town like 50 bibs. Yeah. And they go out to the charitable. Out. And they go to all the charities. So one of the charities is the 2018. And you put in a bid for it. How much money are you going to raise? Uh, I'm going to try to raise 5500 5500 How can people help you raise this money? Um, going to GoFundMe. Yeah. Hellers uh, dash class of... 2018. All right, so GoFundMe page, type in Hill is class of 2018, yep. and sponsor. Give Denise some money. She's going to run 26.2. <laughs> and uh, you're out there training today, right? I was out there today before the rain came. So. Before the rain came. I heard you had to do some laps around the flagpole, too. For the I, I did. So what was up with that? <laughs> with my shirt on. With your shirt I'll show on, you yeah. My shirt. Well, I'll, we should have so the you shirt see me ready. running in orange, that's me. That's her. I don't want to so, get hit. <laughs> yeah, do not run. Do, don't do not run to these over. She has to be ready in April, okay? Right. So <laughs> Try to get to April. Well, listen, that's I wish you, wish you the best of luck. Thank I you. I think you're going to do fine, and I hope you raise. Exceed Monies. your goal. Oh, good. Thank you. All right. So that's the GoFundMe. Hellers. Hellers Class of 2018. Yes. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Yep. Thank you. And we are back to TVL. And as tradition holds, all seniors from each of the teams are coming down and introducing themselves as they walk through. Seniors from Dover Sherborne, as Ashland and Westwood have already gone through. from Hopkinton. Big round of applause for the 14 seniors graduating from Hopkinton. Hopkinton graduates 11 women, three men. As we go through the seniors from Sure, who we have now? Uh, I think uh, Norton, Not I believe. And finally, from Westwood, all the seniors. round of applause for all the seniors graduating out of their high school programs. Freshman Elizabeth Keane from Hopkinton will sing the national anthem.
solid in the pool. And she is solid on deck with a microphone in her hand. That's Elizabeth Keene from Hopkinton. Starting out the meet with the Star Spangled Banner. Probably have a couple of team cheers as we get ready. Let's run through the lineup very quickly as we're going to head right into our swims. Starting a couple of minutes behind schedule here. We're going to start with the 200 medley relays. We're going to start with the women. The women will all swim. We have four heats coming up on the women's side. Then we will transition to the men's 400, uh, or I'm sorry, 200 meter uh, medley relay. Uh, and there will be three heats on the men's side. The unfortunate part on these heats, I don't have heat sheets for the individual swimmers for Hopkinton. We'll see if we can rectify that during the rest of the meet. Uh, we will have individual race swimmers as we've got heat sheets up here. So bear with me as we try to um, surmise who might be out there for Hopkinton as we run through, but we'll be announcing all the teams. Our first heat is going to com be comprised of uh, in lane two, Norton, in lane three, Dover, in lane four, Dedham, and also in lane five is going to be Norton. Once again, this is the two, the women's 200-yard medley relay. Two laps each of backstroke, breaststroke, butterfly, and freestyle. A reminder once again that unlike our dual meets, all heats count. All heats count towards scoring. This is all going to be time-based. This meet will score the first 12 places during the meet. In the relays, each team can place as many as two relay teams in the top 12. In the individual races, each team can place as many as three. And we are set to go. Kevin Legassi, Raj Rosanigan on the camera. <coughs> Say hello again, Raj. Hello, everybody. There he is. Okay, 200 meter, 200 medley relay. Looks like we have dropped our team in five. We have three teams in the first heat. In the first, in lane two, closest to us, that is Norton. Lane three, that's Dover and Dover Sherborne. And in lane four is Dedham. Meet record for the TVL is a 154.40. Set back in 2014 by Dover Sherborne, the team consisting of Charon, Foddy, Zhang, and Milne. As the swimmers take the first turn, coming in for the first 50 on the backstroke. They're going to hand it off to the next swimmer associated with this race, and that is the breaststroke. Neck and neck in lane two, that is Norton. And up top in lane four, that is Dedham, followed closely and catching up. Closing the gap is Dover Sherborne. Swimmers take the turn. Lane two, Norton. Lane four, Dedham. Lane four, Dedham takes a slight lead. We will see the first of the Hopkinton relays in heat two. Hopkinton girls will have three relays as we turn over to the fly. Going into the water first in lane four, that is Dedham. Followed closely by lane two, making up some ground, that is Dover Sherborne. And closest to us in lane or, I'm sorry, lane three, Dover Sherborne, closest to us in lane two, that is Norton. Swimmers all take the turn straight across the pool as we're coming down lane two. As Norton taking a slight lead, open up to about a body length lead in the second lane. Starting to increase that lead as they're getting ready to turn it over to the anchor swimmer, that is Norton. Norton swimmer goes into the water first. Anchor leg. Next to go in, that is Dedham, followed by Dover in the center of the pool. Considerable lead now for Norton. It does not look like they would be caught. She takes the turn. That is closest to us in lane two. Norton coming in. Nice part about today's meet as well as the swimmers are coming in. That is Norton in first. Looks like we're going to have Dedham up top in Second, being closely trailed. See if we can get a closely trailed there by Dover Sherborne in the middle of the pool. Raj, you can pan over. So we have the scoreboard. The Colorado system will be working today. So the nice part is, is we'll be able to give you times. We'll be able to tell you how those times compare to TVL and hopefully some team records. Be nice to see a few of those fall. One of the things I do want to bring up 
As we're announcing the scores for the dives, Maddie Staus, it should be noted, broke the TVL record, eclipsing the mark set by Luciana Berg last year. It's a new TVL record set for the women. On the diving side, in the pool now, the first of the Hopkinton. Actually, nope, they have scratched. So we've got close to us, Medfield, Hopkinton scratched in the second in, this, in lane two, Ashland in lane three, Med. Field in lane four, Westwood in lane five, Dedham up in lane six. Coach Libby probably scratching the relay as they can only place two relays in the top 12. So even if that third relay had the time, they would not be allowed to score. Coming in after the first 50 in the center of the pool, that is Ashland and Medfield in lanes three and four. So they transition into the breaststroke. Up top, all bunched together in two, three, and four. We've got in lane one Medfield and four and five Westwood and Dedham. Taking the turn in lane three, Ashland. About a body length lead in over Medfield in lane four. As I said earlier, a new meet record set by Maddie Staus in the diving. Clips in the old record held by former teammate Lizzie Annenberg. Also wanted to make a note in the girls' 500, though I stopped at the top 12 places. Kayla McCann, 14th place. Great showing by that young swimmer as well in the 500 on the women's. Back to the race in the pool, the 200 meter relay. We are on the fly section. They take the turn. We have Ashland opening up a lead against currently uh, Medfield next to them. Closing the gap up in lane six on second place. That is Dedham. And then trailed by Westwood in lane five and Medfield in lane two, or lane one. Into the water for the freestyle anchor leg. That is Ashland swimming away with this one. We need to watch these times because even though this is heat two and we have four heats, this relay team with a good time can move up. So we'll keep an eye on times as well, try to give you some projections of what we think the top swims are. That is Ashton coming in. They're going to can in, come in with an official time of 2.13.87. Followed closely by Medfield. That's up top is Dedham. Lane five coming in now is Westwood. And closest to us, lane one also, or Medfield as well. So Medfield places two teams in that relay. And we look for the third of four heats. This will see Hopkinton in the center of the pool with their first relay team. So for heat number three, we've got Dedham in lane one, Westwood in lane two, Holliston in lane three, Hopkinton girls in lane four, Holliston in lane five, Go to Sherborne in lane six. First of Hopkinton's two heats, or two, two teams. We'll keep an eye, our best time right now out of the heats has been a 2.13.87. Opening up about a body length lead in the center of the pool, that is Holliston, followed closely by the batch stroker for Hopkinton in lane three, or lane four rather, into the water on the breaststroke. That is... Holliston followed closely by Hopkinton. Also in lane one, sneaking up and out of my view is Dedham. All these points are important. As we said earlier, Hopkinton maintains a slight lead over Ashland, 56 to 47 after the first, first four events. That is Dedham in lane one, opening up a lead in the center of the pool. That is Holliston in lane two, or lane, uh, Second place trailing into the water for Dedham for the final, or for the fly for the fly leg. A lot going on in the pool, so if I trip over myself a little bit, we'll just have to deal with it. Center of pool, that is Holliston taking the lead back over on the fly leg, followed closely in lane one by Dedham. Hopkinton holding on to fourth place right now in this heat. We're going to watch for times in third place in the Second lane, that is Westwood. Up top lanes five and six, that is Holliston also in Dover. Center of the pool, that is Holliston. 
Hopkinton closing and hoping to finish strong as they go into the final. The anchor leg, Hopkinton closing. This is important, these points are important. Holliston, Hopkinton's moved itself into third place. They are challenging for second. Holliston will win. Hopkinton challenging, challenging. Just touched out at the end. Hopkinton will take third with a 210-48, so that will hold. 210 will keep them into that third position unless anybody drops out of the top six in the top heat. So in lane three with the win in that heat is Holliston. Followed by in lane one, Dedham, Hopkinton. So the top seeded relays will go into the water. Centered in the center of the pool is Ashland coming in with a, with a seed time of two minutes, 52 seconds. Hopkinton places their team in right next to Ashland in lane four, the A relays. We have Medfield in lane one, Westwood in lane two, Ashland in lane three, Hopkinton in lane four, Dover Sherborne in lane five, and Norton up top in lane six as the A relays are in the water. Ashland opening up a nice lead. Body length and a half lead over Hopkinton, followed very closely by Westwood in lane two into the water for the breaststroke is Ashland. Hopkinton sends their swimmer into the water. Hopkinton holding tight, closing the gap. This was a very close relay earlier in the season. Hopkinton trailing slightly. They come in seated not very far away from one another. Only about a 3 100 second in the seed. Ashland holding on to about a body length lead as we are going to head into the fly leg. Ashland goes into the water first, followed by Hopkinton. And we have Westwood, Medfield, Dover, Sherborne, and Norton. Hopkinton trying to close the gap. That is Ashland, maintaining about a body length of two lead over Hopkinton as we take the turn. This is going to come down to the anchor leg. Ashland's going to go into the water first with about two body length lead. And we'll see what Hopkinton can do on the freestyle. Holding on to a second place is solid. Be good points. They must hold on to that. Ashland does not look like they're going to be caught. Hopkinton does not look like they're going to be caught as we take the turn. Ashland will swim away with it. Looks like they're going to break two minutes. And they do. 156-54. Hopkinton a close second at two minutes. In lane one, that is Medfield. In third place, in fourth place in lane five, that is Westwood. Coming in fifth in lane two. Coming in fifth in lane two is Westwood. And up top is Norton. Norton with the 216 is gonna get bounced out of the top six. Time is important. Hopkinton will place two relays in the top 12. Good showing for Hopkinton. Now we go to the men's. We have three, three heats of men in the pool. We have three relays. In lane two, we've got Ashland. In lane four, we have Dober. And in lane five, we have Dedham. These gentlemen are chasing the TVL record of a 140.26 set back in 2010 by the Hopkinton team of De Benedetto, J. Legassi, W. Olson, and P. Legassi. A 140.26, that was a quick swim. I was there for that. That record may stand for quite some time. It's already been seven years, eight years. Into the water now. That is Ashland in lane two, followed by Dover in lane four, and Dedham in lane five, the breaststroke. There will be three heats of men, as I said. Hopkinton will send their first swimmers in the water in heat two and will be pitted against rival Ashland, who has two heats in the top six of the men's from a seating. In that third heat, going into the water first is Ashland. A surprise here that Ashland actually is swimming this. They cannot get points out of this relay. 
but coach has not scratched them in lane two. Get the swimmers some swims and some times. Nice to see some former swimmers here in the audience this afternoon as the fly. Ashland kind of running away with this one. Ashland in lean two sends their final swimmer into the water, the freestyle. So we're close to wrapping up this first heat. In lean four, that is Dover Sherborne. In lane five, that is Dedham. Both of their final swimmers are in the water. Ashland is going to win this going away. First heat, this is the C relay from Ashland. This will be a non-scoring relay. The first 12, as I said, will score. Each team can place two relays in the top 12. All swimmers swimming to try to qualify for both sectionals and states today. We'll try to note some of those swims if we can. We do have some of the sectional and meet and uh, sectional times. We'll try to keep an eye on that. As all the teams come in, Ashland takes that, followed by Dover, Sherborne, and Dedham. Going to put the first of the Hopkinton relays on the men's side into the pool in lane two. We'll have Holliston in lane one, Hopkinton in two, Westwood in three, Medfield in four, Dedham in five, Norton in six. A critical time, a critical relay, a critical time. This is all about points. This whole meet is about points. It's about depth. That is where Hopkinton in the past has shined. This year, a little change in the rules. We are only scoring the top 12. In years past, we have scored the top 16. That will affect Hopkinton a little bit, but we'll see how it goes. Hopkinton on the backstroke right now. We've got four straight across. That is Holliston Hopkinton. Westwood and up top in five. Dedham as we go into the breaststroke. Strong area for Hopkinton as they've got a, some depth at breaststroke. We've got four swimmers across the pool looking like up top in lane five. Dedham opening up a small lead. So they take a turn. Coming in, Hopkinton holding on. We've got a lead change in lane three that is Westwood followed by Hopkinton and then up top that is Medfield or Dedham I'm sorry in lane five going into the water first that is Westwood followed by Medfield and then Hopkinton we're into the fly again we are looking at times and we are looking at place time is going to be important as heats Teams from the upper heats can be bumped. Hopkinton starting to close. Again, here we go. We are going to be down to our final, our final swimmers. It looks like we've got Captain Ian Holmes up on the block. Juiced for this. They go in the water at the same time in third position with Holliston. We've got in the center, center uh, or up in the fifth, uh, fifth lane. That is Dedham, followed by Westwood, and then Hopkinton and Holliston. It looks like Dedham is going to hold on in lane five. That is Dedham. In lane two, or lane three, that is Westwood. In third position coming in Hopkinton. That is a 2.05. So our top heat comes in at two minutes, 11. One hundredths. And then followed up top, finishing out, rounding out the first, this last, this uh, second heat is Norton. We are going to go into the pool now with heat three of three. Lane one, Dover. Lane two, Ashland B. Lane three, Ashland A. Lane four, Holliston A. Lane five, Hopkinton. Lane six, Medfield. So Hopkinton right now sitting at least in an eighth position for that relay that just completed. And we'll see what they can do in the top. Ashland looking to pick up some points here on the men's side, placing two relays in the top heat, their A and their B. And Ashland proving to be formidable right now in the backstroke. Ashland B leading slightly over A as they come in. In the center of the pool, that is Holliston, followed by Hopkinton and Dover Shoreburn in uh, lane one. Up top, that is Medfield. We will watch the times. Two minutes was the best coming in. 
Hopkinton finished in that last heat in a 203 to see if they can move themselves up from eighth place. We are in the breaststroke in lane five. I'm sorry, in lane four. That is Holliston, followed in lane three by Ashland. In lane two by Ashland, Hopkinton closing the gap in fourth. Up there in lane five. Going into the pool now. I believe that's your son, Raj. Yep. We have Ritesh Rajanigan in the pool right now, trying to close the gap, and he has. Hopkinton holding on right now to fourth position. That is Medfield in the middle of the pool, turning it over to their anchor. That is Ashland A, Ashland B. Hopkinton and Hopkinton and Holliston will go into the pool at the same time. This is going to come down to the anchor leg. We have Aditya Duda in the water right now on the freestyle leg. Ashland challenging. Holliston is going there. That's Holliston in the center of the pool with the win. Ashland A in second. That is Ashland B. Hopkinton will get touched out for, for fourth. They will take fifth. Hopkinton fifth. All of those swims under the two-minute mark. Nobody will move up. So it looks like Hopkinton will hold on to fifth and eighth positions in the relay. They will be able to send some points to their team. Now we're going to be able to tell you some names here as we go into the 200 freestyle. We're going to start with the ladies. We have four heats, and you can see that they move these pretty quickly. In lane two, freshman from Westwood, that is Annie Lee. In lane uh, three from Westwood as well, that is Rose Catula. And in lane four, that is Fiona O'Brien, also from Westwood. Hopkinton will begin placing their swimmers into this relay, into this race, starting with heat number two. So this is eight laps of the pool, all freestyle. A grueling race. This is part sprint, part finesse. As we have three Westwood swimmers, that's in the center of the pool. That is Rose Catola. Followed in lane two by Annie Lee. And up top, that is Fiona O'Brien. As they take the turn coming in to finish their first hundred, they're halfway through. Freshmen and two seniors from Westwood. TBL meet record that these girls are chasing today. Set back in 2015 of a 152.65. That is Corinne Carboni. I'm not sure if we know who she swam for. I don't. So they take the turn heading into their 150. Opening up a lead in the center of the pool. Senior Rose Catola. Followed closely by Annie Lee and Fiona O'Brien. Hopkinton with several sw swimmers sprinkled throughout the 200 freestyle. They will put seven female swimmers into the 200. The first grouping starting in lane in heat number two. And they turn for the final 50 as they head to take their time, their last turn coming back. That is Rose Catola. She's opened up a nice lead against teammates Fiona O'Brien in lane four and Annie Lee in lane two. These kids are swimming for pride in some cases. This would be the last swims for these seniors. Some may be going on the sectionals and states. Some will be holding some closing speed there by Fiona O'Brien, chasing down teammate Rose Catola, and freshman Annie Lee finishing up. A little trouble on the timing system there. These are touch pads. These swimmers have to come in. There we go. They have to hit those, plus uh, the plungers. So we'll do flyover starts as the, as the head official for the freestyle events. Heat two. 
Lane one, Elizabeth Kane. Lane two, Kate Legassi, both from Hopkinton. Charlotte Healy from Dedham. Hannah Wilcox from Dedham. Kayla McCann from Hopkinton. Two sophomores and a freshman from Hopkinton looking to move up and get some times in here. The top 12 will place. This is the 200 free eight laps of the pool. Lane two, that's Kate Legassi in lane one, followed closely by Elizabeth Kane. We heard sing a little bit earlier as Hopkinton swimmers all turn together. And up top, that is Kayla McCann. All these points help. If these swimmers can move up in their races, it is a huge, huge advantage for Hopkinton. Hopkinton, as we said, is seven swimmers in the water. It's Kate Legassi opening up a lead a little bit there over fellow swimmers Elizabeth Kane in lane one and Kayla McCann up in lane five, followed closely by the two Dedham swimmers, center of the pool, Charlotte Keeley. And in lane four is Hannah Wilcox. Kate Legassi takes a turn after the first 100. Three swimmers all, all spin together at the final turn at the, at the turn at the uh, 100. That is uh, Elizabeth Keane in one, Kayla McCann, and now closing a little bit, Charlotte Healy. Kate Legassi still holding on to about a body length lead. We will watch the times. As they come down to the 150. See what swimmers have a little bit left in the tank here. It's Kate Legassi in lane two. Closest to her is Elizabeth Kane up top in lane five. Fall for Hopkinton is Kayla McCann. Right now, Hopkinton holding on to one, three, and four. Important points here. Kate Legassi with the last 50. She takes her turn. She has about a body length lead in the center of the pool trying to close. That is Charlotte Healy from Dedham. Hannah Wilcox moving herself into third position, challenging. Elizabeth Kane in lane one, and they come back for the final 25. Being challenged in lane two, that is Charlotte Healy. Kate Legassi, see what she's got left for finish if she can hold on. She has to push. She's got a half a body length lead. She takes it in lane two. That's Kate Legassi at 221. In lane three, that is Charlotte Healy. Also rounding out for the Hopkinton swimmers, Elizabeth Kane in third and up in lane five, taking fifth is, that is Kayla McCann. So we'll keep an eye on that, that time. That's a 221 to see if Kate can move into the top 12. Hopkinton also puts one swimmer into this heat, two swimmers into this heat. Uh, in lane one, Penelope Geisen from Dover. We've got C.R. Schlussel in lane two. We've got Bridget Belger in lane three. We've got Annie Revere in lane four. We've got Bridget McSweeney from Ashland in lane five, and Lizzie Olson. So in lane one, Dover, lane two, two and three, Hopkinton swimmers, Sarah Slushel and Bridget Belger. Norton places Annie Revere in lane four. Ashland puts Bridget Belger, and then Lizzie Olson. We'll take an eye on the pool now as they turn at the first 75. That is in the center of pool, Bridget Belger opening up a lead. Next to her in lane four, that is Annie Rivera. Bridget Belger looks strong as she turns after her first 100. 59-7, just sort of a minute. A good first 100. She is followed closely by Annie Rivera in lane two closest to us. That is Sierra Schlussel. Again, these, these swimmers are trying to hold on to press time to see if they can move up into the top six. So we will go to the fourth heat, putting six swimmers into the water. Taking the turn, going into her final 50. That is in the center of the pool. Bridget Belger followed closely by Amy Revere. Bridget of Hopkinton, closest to us as well, now taking the turn. That is Sierra Schlussel, holding firmly into third place. We're going to focus a little bit on the Hopkinton swimmers. It's just too much to keep an eye on. That is Bridget Belger. She is being challenged. Let's see what she's got left as she is coming in. Bridget Belger, half a body length, being challenged, but she is going to hold on. Bridget Belger, Hopkinton, the 205.56. We'll see if that's good enough to knock anybody out of the top six. 
She is followed by Annie Revere coming in in lane two. In third place, that is Sierra Schlussel. And it looks like Kate Legassi is going to knock a couple of girls out of that second heat. That 220 is going to hold up as four, five, and six all came in outside of 220. That's important. Top heat coming in the water. Hopkinton with two swimmers in here. Let's focus in the center of the pool. That's Alicia Fisher, closest to us in lane one. That is Ansley Worrell. This should be a race between Pari Amati and Alyssa Fisher in the center of the pool. Let's run through all six lanes. We've got Ansley Worrell from Hopkinton. We have Jess Wong from Westwood. We have Pari Amati from Medfield. We have Alyssa Fisher from Hopkinton. We have Emily Caprini from Northland. And we have Kate Burkett, Burkett from Westwood. Both Fisher and Amadi battled it out in the 500. Amadi, the victor, followed very closely by Fisher. That is Fisher from Hopkinton, freshman, center of the pool, lane four, as three swimmers come across at the turn at the 75 mark. That is Fisher, Amadi, and Caprini. Half a body length lead over the Hopkinton swimmer, but she has closing speed. She starts to pull up. It's Alyssa Fisher in the center of the pool for Hopkinton, and let's not lose track in lane, uh, in lane one of Ansley Worrell right now, challenging for fifth position. Keep an eye on the times as well. Opening up a little bit of a lead, that is Amadi. Amadi followed by Caprini in lane five. Alyssa Fisher getting some coaching from the side. She has got to hold on as best she can to third, maybe move up into second position. She's being challenged and leaned through by Jess Wong of Westwood. So right now, Medfield center of the pool. That's Amadi. Caprini from Norton. Wong from Westwood. Fisher from Hopkinton. Burkett followed by Ansley Worrell. And we will watch the times at the turn. Opening up and cruising to victory is going to be Pari Amati from Medfield. It's going to be a race for second. As Caprini comes in up top, that's Wong, followed by Fisher. Ansley Worrell with some closing speed trying to get fifth. She ends up in sixth. So right now, Hopkinton picks up fourth. It does not look like anybody will get bumped, I don't believe, out of the top heat. The girls will stay in the water. We're going to place the first heat of the men. Let the starter start them, and then we'll go through the first. First of three heats in the water. From Medfield, that's Triton Marble. From Ashland, that is Ryan Kramer. From Westwood, Brian Lean. From Westwood, Brian Marsubian. From Holliston, that's Henry Powell. And from Westwood, that is Jeffrey Wong. Maybe using last names, that was a little bit easier last race. I should have thought of that. Out in the center of the pool, taking the first turn. That is Marsubian. These guys are chasing the TVL record set by Craig Barrett back in 2014 of a 144.47. We do not have seed times close to that. Our closest right now is a 152. But with tech suits and a little bit of taper, these kids may be dropping time. We'll keep an eye on that. Center of the pool, we have Marsuvian from Westwood. Followed closely in lane five. That is Powell taking the turn in lane three. That is lane. Lane in lane three. <laughs> there we go. Lane two, Kramer. Lane one, Marble. And up top, Jeffrey Wong from Westwood as they turn at the 150. Closing a little bit on Marsubian in lane four. That is Powell in lane five from Holliston. The Westwood swimmer hanging on. The Holliston swimmer challenging. Hopkinton will not put a swimmer in the water until the next, the next heat, and they will put three in the water. We'll announce those in a moment. They do have one swimmer placed in the top in the top heat, the third heat, but anybody can get bumped. We watch the times, we'll be able to get the times. We will see if we can from time to time get score updates as they post. 
packed house here at Keith Tech tonight as they take the final turn. We've got a race here. We've got Powell and Marsubian battling. After six laps, they're going to sprint it in. Seven, here they go. That is going to be Powell in lane five, Marsubian in lane four. That is Lane in lane three. Coming in in lane two, that's Creamer. Marble, and up top, taking six plates as he takes his final turn is going to be Jeffrey Wong. So your leader in his first heat coming in at a 2.12. We'll see if he can move himself up a little bit. That is Henry Powell. So Holliston, Westwood, Westwood, Ashland, Medfield, and now the final swimmer for Westwood coming in. That is Jeffrey Wong. Swimmer will stay in the water. We are going to see three Hopkinton swimmers. We're keeping in our eyes on leans uh, three, four, and five. We've got Colin Tyne, Ray Lucas, and Aditya Duda. El Dolfino in lean three. Let's keep an eye on him, see if he can move himself up. All right, so let's go across the board. We have Andrew, I'm going to mangle this name, Sazasti from Dedham. We've got John Tagliandis from Dedham. We've got Colin Tyne from Hopkinton in lane three. Ray Lucas in lane four. Dietje Dutt in lane five. And we've got Jacob Doolin in lane six. All swimmers want to come in under that 212 mark. That is opening up a lead. Il Dolfino in lane three. Colin Tyne followed by Ray Lucas at Dietje Dutta as the other swimmers swimming straight across in fourth, fifth, and sixth position. Three swimmers can place into the top 12. Hopkinton looks to their depth. Ashland places a host of swimmers in the freestyle. They will get their points. Hopkinton has specialty swimmers. Look for them in the backstroke and the breaststroke. Also in the relays with their depth. Taking the turn, Il Dolfino, the caped crusader, Colin Tyne. He is followed again by Ray, Ray Lucas. And that is Aditya Duda. So Hopkinton right now across the pool in 1-2-3 as they turn into 150. Looking to hang on to that. Colin Tyne actually looking to see if he can bump himself up. Had a great showing in the 500 as well. And rumor has it he has a prom date. Takes his final turn. After his 150, Colin Tyne. With a commanding lead. That is Ray Lucas and Aditya Duda. This looks good for Hopkinton as they that they could hold one, two, three. That would be a minimum of seventh, eighth, and ninth places. Colin Tyne looks like he's throwing down a good time here. Colin Tyne in the center of the pool. We'll see what he comes in at. Seed Tyne of 210. He's going to eclipse that. That looks like a 205.22. That's a great time with an opportunity to bounce a couple of swimmers out of the top 10. Two Hopkinton swimmers battling it out at the end. That is Aditya Duda touching out Ray Lucas and rounding out the balance of the heat in fourth. That is the Dedham swimmer, Tagliant, Tagli, Tagliandis, Sazansky, and Doolin. Top heat. Six swimmers across the pool. Ashland has the first three in lane one. Ashland, Ben Thorner, Gene two, Johnny Pessy in Gene lane three, Jack Emberley, Andrew Fry from Holliston in lane four, Zach Holbro, keep your eye on the senior captain or junior captain, lane five, and in Hopkinton also is Blake Briner. So Hopkinton with two in the top. Colin Tyne came in at a 205, looking to bounce himself into the top six. We'll see where that, how that holds up. A nice swim by El Dolfino. Opened up a lead in the center of the pool is Jack Emberley, followed closely by teammate Johnny Pecci. Not to be confused at all with Joe Pecci. Right now, Hopkinton swimmer Zach Holbrow up in lane five. Battling right now in fourth place. Holding on. He's trying to challenge for third. And that would be the swimmer from Holliston, Andrew Fry. That name sounds familiar. Yes, Dad is a teacher in Hopkinton. Also named Andrew Fry. 
coincidentally. Up top in lane six, that's Blake Briner. We've got to watch these times. Colin Tyne is thrown down to 205 in the heat prior. Opening up a lead in lane three, that's Jack Emberly, followed by teammate Johnny Petchy. That is Zach Holbrall challenging Andrew Fry from Holliston as we turn to our final 150. There in the final, two laps. Ashland won two. Holliston three. Zach Holbrow pushing hard. Let's see what he's got in the tank, see if he can move himself in the third position. After a great show, and he's got closing speed. He's making his move. Let's watch lanes four and five. That is Zach Holbrow. Big race, big race. He's going to get it. Phenomenal swim, a 157 for Zach Holbrow. Good for third place. Excellent swim, and it looks like Colin Tyne's going to move himself up. So let's round it out. Ashland goes 1 2. Emberly Petchy. Zach Holbrow Hopkinton picks up fifth, or picks up third. Colin Tyne's going to move himself up in the sixth position. Blake Bryan will move down, but he took sixth in that heat for Hopkinton. A good showing by Blake. Ben Thorner in lane one, fifth. Now in the water, we've got the girls 200 IM. Kelsey Cahill from Medfield, Stephanie Capalis from Hopkinton, Carrie Brown from Dover Shoreborn, Holly Burns from Hopkinton, Julie Bemis from Westwood, and Allison Gemina from Norton. They are chasing the record set by Corinne Carboni. We've heard her name already this evening. Record setter back in 2016 of a 204.90. Touching first, taking the turn in lane two, that's Stephanie Paulus. Again, only three heats of the women. There are opportunities to move into the top 12. We are watching the times. Today, it's all about time. It is not so much about place and heat unless you're in the top heat and take first, second, or third. Unless we've got somebody else that can bounce. We just saw it. Colin Tyne moved himself in the sixth position in the 200 free in the 205. Zach Holbrow taking third. With a phenomenal race touching out in Andy Fry. Keep your eye in the center of the pool. Hopkinton with two swimmers. That's Holly Burns and Stephanie Kapalis. Holly Burns is going to take the turn first, switching over from the backstroke into the breaststroke. Straight across the pool, the three swimmers in the center of the pool are Brown, Burns, and Kapalis. Kerry Brown in the center of the pool from Dover. About a half, half a body length lead against the two Hopkinton swimmers, Stephanie Kapalis and Holly Burns. We will keep an eye on these times. Coming in after the breaststroke. Going into the freestyle. Final two laps. That is, Kerry Brown with a slight lead over Stephanie Capalis and Holly Burns, pretty evenly matched. And we've got Holly Burns challenging in lane five, lane four. They take the turn together. Let's see what she's got in the tank. Holly Burns, she's challenging. It's Kerry Brown, Holly Burns coming down the stretch. It's gonna be Holly Burns. Great swim by Holly Burns, putting it down. The freshman from Hopkinton comes in first in the 246. We're keeping an eye on that time. Third in the heat also from Hopkinton. That is Stephanie Kapalis. Nice swim. So Holly Burns touching out. The senior from Dover, Kerry Brown. Rounding out the top, Stephanie Kapalis. So 246, we'll keep an eye on the next heat. We'll see if she can move herself up. 
Hopkinton puts a couple swimmers in the water as well. We're going to watch lanes five and six. We get the Foo Fighter, Allison Foo, Mallory Pishoff, senior captain. Lane one, we've got Charlotte Moore from Dover. Lane two, Anastasia Galaprini from Ashland. Uh, Ashkar, Ashkara Shankar from Holliston. We've got Lindsay Mulligan from Norton. And then the two Hopkinton swimmers, as I said, Allison Fu and Mallory Pishoff in lanes five and six. Keep an eye on those lanes. Straight across in lanes two, three, and four. We've got Galaprini, Shankar, Mulligan, Foo Fighter close behind lane one. That is more. But we're keeping our eye on Allison Fu in lane five, Mallory Pishoff in lane six. We have a 246 that's been put down already by freshman Holly Burns. 246 trying to move herself up into the top. 12 swimmers. There would be one more heat of the, of the two IM. A grueling race. Swimmers need to be adept in. Fly, backstroke, breaststroke, and free as they take a turnover from back into the breaststroke. Opening up a lead in the center of the pool. Shankar. Followed closely by Mulligan, Galperini, Allison Fu. She's a breaststroker. Let's see if she can close. Sitting right now in fourth and fifth or fourth and sixth place, Hopkinton swimmers, Allison Fu and Mallory Pishoff. See what these kids got in the tank. Opening up a lead in the center of the pool, getting ready to turn to her final 50. Freestyle leg as Shankar from Holliston, freshman. Allison Fu has closed, touching at third. She's moved herself into third position. She's going to challenge for second. This would be big. Shankar, Mulligan, Fu, Galliparini. It's Shankar's race right now. We've got Fu challenging, trying to hold. Allison Fu, Mally Pishoff up in lane six. This is going to be Shankar. Norton, or no, Holliston. 2-3, little battle. Second place, that is Ashlyn Galliparini. Fourth place, that's Allison Fu. And up top in sixth place at 244. She will hold on to that position. So Hopkinton has two in the top 12 already. Mallory Pishoff and Allison Fu. We go into a final heat. Hopkinson put, put one swimmer in the water. Let's watch Abby Fisher in lane three. So going across, we've got Ann Lee Zanella, Holliston. Trinity Vo, Dedham. Abby Fisher from Hopkinton. Peyton Levecki, Levekis, Westwood. Kelly Wong and Beverly Bryan. Wong from Westwood. Bryan from Ashland. Lane one out to an early lead. That is Holliston, Zanella. Keep an eye on Abby Fisher in the center of the pool. It's an important race for Hopkinton. Let's just see if the junior can take this, take this race and throw some points down for Hopkinton. In the center of the pool, that's Abby Fisher. Takes the turn with the lead slightly over lane one. That is Anella Holliston. Hopkinton's only swimmer in the top heat in the center of the pool right now, opening up her lead. This is big. She comes in as the top seed with a considerable time differential between her closest competitors. And she is opening that lead up now. Hopkinton Jr., that is Abby Fisher in the center of the pool. She is chasing a 2.04. Seed time at 2.17. She is followed in lane one by Holliston, Zanella. Across the pool, Vo from Dedham. Levekis from Westwood. Wong from Westwood. Beverly Bryan from Ashland in lane six. Abby Fisher starting to swim away with this. Opening up her lead in the breaststroke. That is junior Abby Fisher. 
This is going to be her race as she flips over to freestyle. Good looking swim so far by Abby Fisher. She came in. Top seed. She's going to hold top seed. Holliston, Jr., Zanella holding on to second and opening up a lead. A good swim by Zanella. That is Fisher, center of the pool for Hopkinton. Abby Fisher crushing the competition. A great swim by Abby Fisher. Demonstrating her versatility. She's going to run away with this. Right around her seed time is a 2.17. That is lane two. You hear the cheers. That is for Brian up in lane six, taking fourth for Ashland. Ashland knows that Hopkinton has a ton of depth. They need to put people into positions. This will be an interesting meet all day. So that's the final heat of the women. We're going to put the first heat of men in. No Hopkinton swimmers here, but we put the first heat of three into the uh, into the water. That's Brendan Marsubian from Westwood in lane two. That is Andrew Liu from lane, from Dover in lane three. Nick Telf, uh, Telford from Norton in lane four. That's Mark Lane from Westwood in lane five. Hopkinton will put its first swimmer into the pool in the next heat. So we take a break, a nice swim by Abby Fisher. Some big points for Hopkinton. Scoring a little bit different this year, like we've already said. Only the top 12 in years past, it's been the top 16. That has always played the Hopkinton's depth. Today, Hopkinton's gonna have to swim hard and put swimmers into the top 12. There's no doubt about it. Three swimmers can qualify as the men take the turn in the backstroke. Lane three, that is Lou, Andrew Lou from Dover. Lane four, Nick Telford. Lane two, that's Marsubian. And up top, that's Mark Lean from Westwood. Hopkinton will put three swimmers into the next two heats, one in the top heat. Ashland boys have three as well, two in the top heat, so we're looking for some good swims out of Tyler Holbrow and Ritesh Rajanigan. Tyler Holbrow with some nice swims in the last couple of meets. See what he's got, Ritesh as well. Coming in, flipping into his last 50, that's the center of the pool. Andrew Liu, that's Nick Telford, Mark Lean, and Brendan Marsubian. Grueling race, two laps each. Butterfly back, breast and free. We will not be seeing the 500s. The 500s have already been swum. There's your swum on Friday. The results announced at the beginning of the meet. That is Lou coming in in the center of the center of the pool. Dropping a 235-4. He will look to try to move himself up. See what he can do. Coming in now, that's Nick Telford, Jr. from Norton. So we go Dover, Norton. Marsubian from Westwood. Brendan Marsubian in lane two. And in lane five, Mark Lean from Westwood. Okay, lane two, or lane uh, heat two. Holbrower, John again, one and two for Hopkinton. Keep an eye on those two fellas. Points at stake here. All right, let's run through the whole group. We've got Tyler Holbrow, freshman, Hopkinton, lane one, Ritesh for John again. Sophomore, Hopkinton, Jake Pearson, Ashland, center of the pool, Nick Wilcox. Dedham, lane four, lane five, Dean Bocher, lane six from Medfield. That is Owen Brand. Rajanigan, Holbrow. 
So we've got one swimmer from Ashland out front. We've got the rest coming across at the same after the end of the fly. Raji Sun's having a nice swim so far in second place. These are big points. Yeah. But watch out for the breaststroke. That's okay. Taking the turn first. That is Pearson, Ashland, Rajanigan, Holbrow, Wilcox, Bocher, Brand. Pearson opening up a lead for Ashland. Moving into second place is Wilcox. Followed by Ritesh, Rajanigan. Important swims here. Let's see how the breaststroke goes. Good turn, good underwater, good wall by Ritesh. Tyler Holbrow, breaststroke, lane one, trying to move himself back into fourth position. Currently in fifth, opening up a lead. Ashland, Pearson being challenged. Wilcox taking the turn together with Rajesh Ritesh again. This is going to come down to the freestyle, folks. Taking the turns together are both. Bocher and Holbrow. Holbrow, I like him in the freestyle. He's got some guts. Beat out his brother the other day. Challenging for second, Ritesh Rajanigan. With Bocher and Wilcox. Opening up. This is going to be Pearson's race. Ritesh Rajanigan, he's digging deep, trying to move himself back into second position. Hopkinton, Tyler Holbrow. He's got some, he's got sprinter kick here. This is going to be important, folks. That is Pearson, lean three. It's his race. Ritesh Rajanigan pushing, pushing, pushing. See what he's got. He's got a kick. He's got a kick. He's going to get it. Ritesh Rajanigan takes it. Phenomenal swim. Great points. Great points that they needed. And let's not forget that's Tyler Holbrow. In lane one, taking fifth. Ritesh Rajanigan for Hopkinton, two, Tyler Holbrow. In lane one, in fifth. So Hopkinton sitting in eighth. And Top heat coming across the pool. Heat three of three, this is it, folks. Lane one, Ellis, Ellis Wright, Holliston. Philip Nikoloff, Ashland, Alex Pecci, Ashland, lane three, Andrew Fry, Holliston, lane four, Alex Mitsukis, Hopkinton, five, Sam Dolly, Dover, six, opening up a lead, that's Ellis Wright, Holliston, lane one, followed closely by Nikoloff and Pecci from Ashland and Fry, Holliston, not too far behind, Alex Matsukas. Swimmers coming across. Ashland opens up a little bit of a lead. Alex Pesci. Nikoloff. Lane one, Holliston, right. Fry, Dolly. And Matsukas. Alex needs to get Pep in the step and move himself up into fifth position. Big points. He's a breaststroker, there he goes. Look for him to move up, folks. Let's see where he can go with this. He is already in the four, fifth. See him move himself up. Keep your eye on lean five, Alex Matsukas. He's gonna challenge for fourth. Chasing Andrew Fry. Let's see what he's got left. Two Ashland swimmers. As Pecci, Nikolov, challenged by Wright. Nice breaststroke by Mitsukis. He's clearly in fifth, challenging for fourth. Let's see what he's got left. Andrew Fry is in lane four. Holliston, Mitsukis, challenging for fourth position. It's an important race. Ashland will take one, two. Pecci, Nikolov. Nikolov challenging. This is Ashland 1-2. It is right. Does Matsukas have it? Not quite. Good swim by Fry to hold on to fourth. Matsukas takes five. And out there in sixth position. 
That is Sam Darley from Dover. Ashlyn goes 1-2. Big swims by those two boys. Young sophomores. Ashland is good, and they are young. All right, folks, don't blink. It'll be over. 53. All right, these are going to move quick, so let's go. Ashland, freshman, Abby Hersham, Holliston, Sarah DeVoe, Medfield, Anna Zhang, Megan Adams from Norton, Kelly Riley from Dedham. There are 15 heats of this. We will be here for a few minutes. On the 53, it is a sprint. It's about to turn. It's about to start. It's about not breathing for 30 or so seconds. That's lane two. Sarah DeVoe, Holliston. Winning time at 36-36. These kids are all chasing Morgan Hall. The TVL record set back in 2016, 24-78. There will be 15 heats. Across the pool, Katrina Cozito, Abby Sayers, Mel Birmingham, Abbey College, Zinc Lizzie, Not the, and uh, up in lane six. Sorry, class is five from Rogans. Uh, Shrindi Ravpati. Ravpati. Winning time, 34-64 in the center of the pool. Lane four, that is Abbey College, Ashland. Again, there are 15 heats, folks. We won't get too excited until we see the top four. These swimmers are swimming for personal bests, personal pride, sportsmanship, teammates. Lane heat three. Molly Burkett. Aline Martins, Shreya Modi, Ani Gora, Grace Young, Sophia Katz. Coming across, heat three of 15. Hopkinton will begin placing swimmers into heats, starting with heat six. Winning time, lane five, 32-8. Grace Young, heat four. Lane one. I don't know how to pronounce this. Hey, Clark Collier, Hope, Zawaslock. Alyssa Kirdlin, Katrina Stewart, Julia Gillis, Eleanor Griffiths. Across the pool, one through five. Heat four, the girls 53. A lot of proud parents in the stands here. Packed. Actually, we do not have swimmers in lanes four and five. My apologies. This moves quick. I'm reading. I'm not looking. As a winning time out in lane six at 33.98. That is Griffiths from Dover Sherborne. Heat five. Six swimmers across the board. We have Brook, uh, looked, uh, lane six. That's Brooklyn Briner, Hopkinton. Lane one, Crystal Cozito. Hookie Duncan in two. Caroline Bodat. Lane three. Josie Biscotti. Maeve O'Leary. And Brooklyn Briner. This is Heat 5. Hopkinton swimming up in lane 6. Brooklyn Briner. Not to be cute, but that heat made me a little hungry. We have Cookie Duncan and Josie Biscotti. Huh, that would taste good right now. Cookie Duncan, what a name. I like that. 
That's cute. Heat six. All right. Alina Navrubekov, Anna Scott Johnson, Jacqueline Sauer, Valgora, Maggie Miller, Hopkinton, lane five, keeping on her, Isabel Waite. Maggie Miller, lane five, Hopkinton. Girls come straight across, this is gonna be lane one. Alina, Ashland, freshman. Winning time, 31-71. It's Maggie Miller up top, lane five. Taking fourth, 33-60. Nice swim. Girls stay in the water. There we go. Heat seven. No Hopkinton swimmers. We've got Taylor Lean. Lenine. Georgia King. Nevo. Shauna Mobilia. Haley Carey. And Chloe. A lot. Nobody from Hopkinton. Girls swimming across. Anybody's race. Lane two. Holliston. Nope. Lane five. Nope. Lane four. Look at that. This is all about the touch. Lane four. Mobilia. Norton. Time of 32 68. Heat eight, three swimmers, one, two, and three. Kelly Burke, Hopkinton, lane one. Caitlin Britt, Dover Sherbourne, MJ Smith, Dover Sherbourne. Keep an eye on Kelly Burke. Already putting down a good swim in the two IM with the two free, forget which, but a great swim. Two IM, I think. Oh, no, we got four swimmers, I apologize. Swimmer in lane four is Amanda Trider, Westwood. Hopkinton senior, Kelly Burke, lane one, pushing hard. Pushing hard, Kelly Burke. It's gonna be lane two. 30, 76. These girls are looking to break 30. Personal bests, it's lane two. Caitlin Britt, heat nine. Bonnie Lou. Lane one, Lyric Ty, lane two, Megan Sullivan, lane three. Lane two is not swimming. Claire Thompson, lane four, no swimmer in lane five. Lane six, Meredith Crattowill. Crattowill. I'm going to mangle some of these names. I apologize, folks. Middle of the pool, that's lane four, Medfield. Claire Thompson, Holliston rather. Winning time, 30-26. Hopkinton puts two swimmers in the pool. Let's watch lanes four and five. It's Holly Burns, Holly Richardson, freshman, senior. Across the pool, Elizabeth Carroll, lane one, Carolyn Gallagher, two, Olivia Tomlin, three, Holly Burns, Hopkinton, four, Harley Richardson, Hopkinton, five. Claire Gordon, Dover, six. Running away with this one, that is. Oh, senior Harley Richardson, nice going away presence. She takes it, 29-94. Beats her seed time by about a second and a half. Nice swim, Harley. Harley Burns, lane four, takes third. Nice swim by Hopkinton. Heat 11, Hopkinton puts a swimmer in the water. Two, Mia Carboni in two, and up top, Kaylee Cohane in lane six, across the board. Celia, Pimantes, Mia Carboni, Hopkinton two, Barbara Monahan three, Maddie Holm lane four, Kate Hennessy five, Kelly Cohane six, Hopkinton takes it, lane two, 29-86. Carboni, Cohane takes second, one, two, in heat number 11. Hopkinton, two swimmers, Pillarella, Cowan. Flanner Langton, lane one, Julia Pillarella, Hopkinton, lane two, Sophie Cowan, freshman, Hopkinton, lane three. 
Mia Altura, lane four. Julia Preskenis, lane five. Audrey Roberts, lane six. Center of the pool, Cowan Pillarella, lanes two and three. It's going to be lane one. That's Flannery, Holliston, Hopkinton goes two, three. As, as Cowan, Pillarella. Nice showing by the freshman, so it'd be Cowan and senior Julia Pillarella. All right, folks, let's watch the times. Hopkinton lane two, let's keep an eye on Caitlin O'Connor, senior. We got Sarah Boyd, Caitlin O'Connor, Hopkinton lane two, Aaron Allaire lane three, Madison Correa lane four, Sonny Fox lane five, Ava Harrington. These guys are looking for times to move up. Let's see what our senior, Caitlin. Caitlin O'Connor's got, she's got lane two, she's got the lead, push. Caitlin O'Connor, Caitlin O'Connor. It is Caitlin O'Connor taking first, 28-39. We'll keep an eye on that time, see if she can move herself in. The senior, a great going away present in heat number 13. We've got two heats left, folks. Phenomenal swim by Caitlin O'Connor. And that's a 28-39. Lane one, Bridget McGuire, Emily Howen, lane two. Cassie White, Hopkinton, lane three. Kayla Scott, lane four. Peyton Salyards, Hopkinton, lane five. Brianna Morgan, lane six. Let's see what we've got in the pool here, folks. Lane two, challenging, center of the pool. Center of the pool, Cassie White, touched out. She takes second, 27-10. And right now, Caitlin O'Connor has moved herself up into the top 12. Watch the center of the pool, Andrea Way. She is chasing the record, folks. The record is a 24-78. We're gonna see if that can fall. We are focused on Andrea Way, senior in the center of the pool, lean three. We've got Kate Landry, one. Emma Viglas, lane two, Andrew Way, center of the pool, Michelle Grasberger, Ashland, and four next to her, Rachel Zale, Hopkinton, and Mary Lauren Burke. Let's see what she can do. Andrea Way, we need Mary Lauren Burke. She's got it. She has broken the record. That is a new TVL record, 23.89. Strong showing in lanes five and six. There's a four, a fourth, and a sixth by Rachel Zell and M.L. Burke. Nice swims. Ladies, nice swims. So first record has fallen today. Andrea Way, 23.89, has eclipsed the mark set by Morgan Hall in 2016 of a 24.78. That 23 is gonna hold for a while. Great swim by Andrea Way. Hopkinton wins it. Good showing by Rachel Zao and Mary Lauren Burke. Men's 53 in the water now. Ritesh. Pran, oh man, I'm not even gonna try it. Holliston, Ritesh. Pranza Kumar. McManus, seven McManus in the middle of the pool. Victor Dorensville. That is up top, Dornsville. Uh, we had more swimmers in the pool. I think we've got a combined heat of one and two, so my apologies. Nobody from Hopkinton, no harm, no foul. We will go to heat three. That was a combined one and two. And we are back on track again. Oh, we're missing a couple of swimmers here. Swimmers in one, two, and four. Damaris, Sam Damaris in one, two, that's Jonathan Wessel, and four, that is Ashen Rajiva. Rajiva leaned four at the turn. Holliston. Hopkinton will not put a male into the water until heat five, two more heats, the Merch Man. Connor Murchie, we'll look for him in a moment. 
sprint for some personal best. That's a 32-6 in lane two. Jonathan Westler, Westwood, heat four. 11 heats of the men. Matthew Ducharme, lane one. Brendan Saar, two. Chris Herbert, three. Nat Noel, four. Jonah Kaplan, five. Ian Hayward, six. Nobody from Hopkinton yet. It's a battle between two and six. 53 men's lane six. Winning time, 27-25. That is Ian Hayward, Holliston. Heat five. Center of the pool from Hopkinton. That's the merch man, Connor Murchie. We've got a swimmer in one. That's Ben Pepper. The merch man, as I said, in lane three. Then we've got Scott McCarran, four. We've got Chris Stronach in five. And Kyle Sweeney in six. The junior merch man being challenged by lane one. Can he hold the merch? Come on, merch. Pushing, pushing. It's going to be one. Touched out. Connor Merch with the 29-16. That bests his seed time of the 29-53. Connor Merch, he junior from Hopkinton, takes second in heat number five. Heat six. Junior Ray Lucas from Hopkinton is up in lane five. Nico Alwani, lane one. Jack McCarran, two. Mirage, Pamaja, uh, Padmanaban in three. Josh Taylor, four. Ray Lucas, Hopkinton, five. Joey Hall, Scrimshaw is six. That is Lucas going away. Keeping on that time, that's a 27-76. Great swim by junior Ray Lucas. <laughs> Hopkinton puts senior, uh, junior Jack Brennan up in lane six. Elliot Nutra, one. Mike Gingrich, two. Coleman Baker, three. Joe Caravan, four. Ryan Britt, five, and Jack Brennan up top. Hopkinton stunning here. They are pushing hard. We've got times. Jack Brennan stretching it out. Great stroke. Jack, great swim. 26-57. Drops two seconds off of his seed time. Keep an eye on that. Let's see if he can move himself up. That's a great swim by the junior from Hopkinton, Jack Brennan. Heat eight. Heat eight. Hopkinton puts Sam Cody Jr. in lane five. Lane one, Lorenzo Gotti. Lane two, Alex Fedek. In lane three, Owen Reed. Four, Matt Junkins. Five from Hopkinton, Sam Cody. Six, Brooks Jordan. Sam Cody pushing, challenging. What's he got in the tank? Push. It's going to be lane three in the center of the pool. Cody with a good swim in five at 27 to 65. So keep an eye on that 26 so far from Jack Brennan. Heat nine. Three more heats. Hopkinton senior captain Ian Holmes is up in lane five. Keep an eye on him. Liam Murphy, one. Brian Marsubian, two. Will Prezzuti, three. Gabriel Cedrone, four. Ian Holmes, Hopkinton, five. Patrick Tachi, six. Holmes. Can Holmes bring it home? Pushing hard, Ian Holmes. Big stretch, he's a tall kid. Takes second, 26-38. Winning time, 26-16. A nice swim by senior Ian Holmes. Taken second. Yeah. 
we're watching lane two. Cole Salyards, freshman Hopkinton. We've got Matthew Berard in lane one. Cole Salyards, Hopkinton, freshman lane two. Will Martin, three. Carmelo Cedrone, four. Kyle Heaney, five. Pradit Kadmadwan, center of the pool, followed closely by Hopkinton in lane two. That is freshman Cole Salyards throwing down a 25-18. Nice swim, see if he can get himself up into the top heat. 24-24 is the best so far. Meet record 21-36 set by Roger Gu. Hopkinton puts a swimmer in rain two. That is Sam Richardson. This is about the start in the turn, folks. Bryce Whitney, Sam Richardson, Hopkinton, George Savino, Vanya Lakspez, Alex Gu. They're coming across. Richardson Hopkinton lane two takes fourth in a 24-15. No one will get bumped out of the top heat. That is a 22-56 thrown down by Holliston swimmer George Savino. Second place. Vanya Lukashev as Ashland Jr. And Alex Gu, freshman, Ashland, taking third. Hopkinton puts Sam Richardson in fourth. Good showing by the boys, some good time drops. We'll have to see how that shakes out. Looks like we're going to take a little break. Normally we go for the diving, but they're going to take a little bit of a break. What we're going to try to do here is we're going to see if we can get you a score update when we come back. We still have a lot of swimming left, folks. We're going to start with the 100 butterfly. We're getting out of the freestyle and getting into the, the strokes. This is where Hopkinton shines. We'll see what we've got. Excuse me. We'll see what we've got. I'm going to take a quick break, Raj. We'll yep. cut it here. We'll be back in a few. Every winter in New England, we have an increase in cases of carbon monoxide poisoning. Carbon monoxide is a gas that's indetectable to our senses and can make you very sick or even kill you in a short period of time. Fortunately, carbon monoxide poisoning is entirely preventable. Ensure that you have your heating system and other home equipment maintained and inspected annually. Never operate gas-powered equipment indoors and never barbecue indoors. Make sure to have working carbon monoxide alarms on every floor of your house and within 15 feet of every bedroom door. They should be tested monthly. When snow falls, take care to make sure that chimneys, heating and dryer outlets are clear of snow so that exhaust can exit. Similarly, Shovel out your car's exhaust and never allow children or other people to sit in an idle car while you're shoveling it out. If your carbon monoxide alarm ever goes off, don't ignore it. Exit your house and call the fire department. By following these steps, you can protect your family this winter. We're back. And we are I have no sound. You have sound? Neither do I. If you are wondering what, if your television audio is not working, sorry, it is us.
All right. We are back. If you lost the smooth, silky voice of Hopkinson Swim and Dive there for a moment, we had to change the battery. Technical difficulties. We are in the 100 fly for the ladies. Heat number one is done. We'll come back to that in a moment. We've got in the water right now. Sasha Daniels, lane one. Allison Janai, lane two. Lily Zhu, lane three. Barbara Monahan, four. Rachel Byer in lane five. Fiona O'Brien in lane six. Hopkinton will not put a swimmer into the water on the ladies' side until the next heat. The first heat, we had Alyssa Shelburne, Sarah DeAndrea, Georgia King, Giselle Daniels, Alina Navrabakova, and uh, Megan Jordan. So in the water right now that's in the center of the pool is Lily Zhu from Westwood being challenged in lane two by Allison Janai, Janaya, Janina. Girls chasing the record set by Corinne Carboni. We've heard that name a few times on the ladies' side, quite the swimmer for the 57.96. What we are going to look at is Andrea Way, who's already broken one. She's in the final heat for Hopkinton. She's broken one record already in the 53. She comes in seated at a time faster than the neat record. We will look at that in a moment. As we have in lane three, 117.64. That is Lily Zhu from Westwood. All right, so for Hopkinton, senior Rachel Zale is going to be in lane three. Heat three of four. Looking for points. Jasmine Chan, lane one. Deanna Fedek, lane two. Senior Rachel Zale, Hopkinton, lane three. Lindsay Mulligan, four. Maggie Fahey, five. Alex Maurer, lane six. Keep your eyes in the center of the pool. Rachel Zale coming in seated at least five seconds ahead of her competition, being challenged already in lane two. That is Diana Fidek by Medford, Medfield rather. Rachel Zale takes a turn about a half a body length behind. Challenging now, Rachel Zale, that's lane three. Fedek, Medford, Medfield rather, lane two. Zale taking the lead. Final turn, that's Rachel Zale in the middle of the pool. Let's watch her time. She can move herself up in the standings at a 105. Let's see what she's got. Rachel Zale running away. Senior Hopkinton, center of the pool, Rachel Zale. Rachel Zale with a 106.39 takes the heat. 110.07 in the middle of the pool. So that's Rachel Zale, senior Hopkinton wins heat number three with a 106.39. We will keep an eye on that time, see if she can move herself in. Watch the center of the pool, ladies and gentlemen. Andrea Way looking to break the butterfly record set back in 2015. Coming across the pool, <clears throat> Anastasia Galloparina, lane one, Jess Wong, lane two, Andrea Way, Hopkinton Sr., lane three, Chelsea Zhang, four. That is Caitlin O'Connor, Hopkinton Sr., lane five, and Lee Zanella. Hopkinton's three and five. Let's see what they've got. Caitlin O'Connor's already thrown down a great swim in the 50. Andrea Way's broken one meet record already. At the turn, a stunning 26-65. Way running away with it. Last turn, let's see what she's got. Chasing a 57-96 by Corinne Carboni. That record's going away. Lean three, Andrea Way just gets it. Not her best time, but she gets it. A 57-78, she eclipses the record set back in 2015. Caitlin O'Connor, lane five takes fifth. Great swim by Caitlin O'Connor, senior captain. The men's. Lane one, Mark Lane. Two, Matt Junkins. Three, David Hahn. 
four, Kipling Stoppa. Five, Jacob Doolin. Hopkinton will play swimmers in the next two, in the next heat. Nobody in the top heat, however, they can move up. Across the pool, the men out in front. That's Stopa. Doolin. Kipling Stopa. Holliston, lane four in the lead. Challenged by lane five. That's Jacob Doolin, and in lane two, Matt Junkins. Norton. Swimmers coming in for the final lap. Hopkinton's putting one, two, three swimmers in the next heat across the middle of the pool. Natash Rajanigan, Tyler Holbrow, Aditya Duda, the future of this team, sophomores and freshmen. Let's see what the men have. That's a 113-20 lane for Stapa. Holliston. Heat two of three sees Hopkinton in leans. Three, four, and five. Keep your eye on the sophomore and the two freshmen. We have no swimmer in lane two. Across the pool, one, that's Patrick Tachi. From Hopkinton, lane three, Ritesh Rajanigan. Hopkinton, lane four, freshman Tyler Holbrow. Hopkinton, lane five, freshman Aditya Duda. And in lane six, Brandon Saar. Watch the, the center of the pool, lanes three, four, five across the pool. Challenge in lane one are the Hopkinton swimmers. That's Mark, that is uh, Patrick Tachi. Hopkinton turns one, two, three. They need these points, folks. Opening up his lead, that's Ritesh Rajan again. Seated at a 104.48, let's see what he's got today. Tyler Holbrow, freshman right next to him, Aditya Duda next to him as well. Hopkinton needs one, two, three. They are challenged in lean one by Patrick Tachi. Pushing hard. Hopkinton, Ritesh being challenged by Tyler Holbrow. It is going to be, that's Holbrow in lean one, in lean four, taking first at a 102. That is Ritesh Rajanigan taking second at a 103. Aditya Duda in lean five, taking third. Hopkinton goes one, two, and three with the chance to move up with the seed time. Keep an eye on that 102 and that 103. These gentlemen can move up. Great swims across the board best times for all. We've got Peter Lukashev, lane one, Ellis Wright, lane two, George Savino, lane three, Paul Philip uh, Nikolev, lane four, Jake Pearson, lane five, Zach Lawrence, lane six, no Hopkinton swimmers, but we've got a 102 and a 103 thrown down in the heat before. Opening up a lead, center of the pool, that is Ashland. Nope, lane three, I'm sorry. That's Savino from Holliston. A little help from Holliston would be nice, holding off the Ashland swimmers. This is a neat that they're probably going to end up between Hopkinton and Ashland. A little help from a couple of other swimmers. That's Alice Wright challenging the Ashland swimmer, coming away with it. That is George Savino. In two, lean two. Great swim by Ellis Wright. And let's see if those 102s will move up. They will not. So Hopkinton taking seven, eight, and nine with great swims by the young swimmers, sophomores, and the sophomore and the two freshmen. The meet record set by Colton Hall for the men of 51-19. That's safe for a while. The girls, 100 freestyle. We're going to have 10 heats of this. Hopkinton will not place a swimmer for a while. Across the, across the uh, pool right now, we've got Abby Hershorn, 
Abby Sire Sayers, Caroline Badeau, and that is Riley Kelly. Four laps of the pool freestyle. And we get to the Sorry, folks, just giving you a little break from me talking for a while there. We have no Hopkinton swimmers for a little bit. We we'll just watch some quiet races for a bit. 100 freestyle. That's lane four. Looks like that's going to be Caroline Badet. Holliston, freshman, 117.62. We did have a score announcement. Raj, did you hear the scores? Do you hear who's up right now? We'll see if we can find out. We did have a score announcement. We're going to send a runner and see if we can find out. Hold for just one sec. Yes. Who's, who's winning right now? you remember hearing the announcement? Can you see if you can find out this weekend? We'll throw in the middle. Girls 100 free, heat number two. Across the pool, lean one, Grace Young, two. Ani Gora, three. MJ Smith, five. Serena Raptavi, six. Maddie Holm, seven. Nell Birmingham, no Hopkinton swimmers yet. Record these girls are chasing. The meet record, uh, TVL record 53.39, set by Corinne Carboni. We've heard her name several times already. And then the meet record, Abigail Martin, the 53.57, uh, set by Abigail Martin, 2015, Corinne Carboni, 2016, with the TVL. The difference between a meet record and a record is the meet record has to be set here at the actual event. The TVL record can be set at any meet. Uh, or can be held by any swimmer at states or sectional. Those times would count as well, even though it was not swum in a TVL meet. So any TVL swimmer that sets a, breaks a record or sets a time um, doesn't necessarily have to do it at the meet. They might do it at states or sectionals. Coming across the board, that's lane one with the first and a 115. That is Grace Young as we prepare ourselves for heat number three. No Hopkinton swimmers in heat three. We'll get to the lineup in a moment. Looks like a few scratches here. Looks like swimmers in only four, five, and six. Uh, lane four, Sophie Katz, five. Chloe Tortelot and Isabel Waite in six. All Dover, Sherbourne. Going to have a score update here. That's through event 11, Hopkinton leads 319 over second place Ashland 287. So Hopkinton showing some depth and some great swims by senior swimmers and leaders. So the girls take their first turn for the second 50. Through 11, that is through the fly. As the girls take the turn, coming back for the last 25, that is Katz, Tortelot, and Wait, all Dover Sherborne. Heat three. Lane four, first place. In heat number three, that is Katz, Sophie Katz, Sophia Katz. Heat four.
in lane two. That's Meredith Crotichwill. Taylor Lanine in lane three. Megan Sullivan, four. Aline Martins, five. Eleanor Griffiths, six. Lane one is empty. 100 freestyle, heat number four. At the turn, lane two. Medfield. Crowder Twill. Two, four at the turn coming in for the last 50 in heat number four. Ten heats of the girls, 100. Personal bests. A lot of swims on the line here in these early heats. Two Medfield swimmers, one and two. That's lane two. Crowder Meredith. Crowder Junior, Medfield. A 111.50. Heat five. Swimmers in lanes one, three, and six. Lane one, that is Shauna Mobilia. Lane three, that is Amy Marsubian. And up in lane six, that is Samantha Blair. Center of the pool, Amy Marsubian. Westwood. Final turn. Marsubian, Westwood. You can hear a coach on the sideline. Go, Amy. Amy and Marsubian, center of the pool, touches in 108 56 with the win. The Norton swimmers on either end of the pool, Mobilia, Blair. Heat six. Across the pool, lane one, Summer Martin, lane two, Haley Carey, lane three, Annie Lee, four, Maggie Gentile, five, Sahara Hayes, six, Claire Gordon. Hopkinton will see its first two swimmers in the next heat. Heat seven, look for Kelly Burke, Stephanie Capellas. Straight across the pool, they come at the first 50. Three, four more heats to go. After this heat, six in the water. Summer Martin, Haley Carey, Annie Lee, Megan Gentile, Sahara Hayes, Claire Gordon. That's lane four. Megan Gentile. Sprinting to the finish, Megan Gentile touches in 108.47 with the field just behind her. Heat seven. Let's look out in lanes four and five. Senior Kelly Burke, lane four. Junior Stephanie Kapalis, lane five. No swimmer in lane three. In the pool now, lane one, Emily Smith. In lane two, Emily Howland. Lane four, Kelly Burke, senior Hopkinton. Lane five, Stephanie Kapalis, Jr. Hopkinton. Elizabeth Carroll, lane six. Early lead, that's lane two, Emily Hollins. 
Watch the Hopkinton swimmers in four and five. Kelly Burke, Stephanie Kapalis take the turn together. 100 freestyle, slight lead in lane two. That's Emily Holland, Junior Holliston. The far end of the pool. So I'm not sure that we did announce after he left after uh, event 11. Hopkinton holding a lead right now over Ashland. This would be big for this young Hopkinton team. They graduate a host of seniors. First year coach Jeff Libby looking to take his first TBL meet trophy home. That is lane two or lane six. I'm sorry, coming in at a 108.54 up top. Elizabeth Carroll, Burke, Kapalis. Place three and four. Sorry, it was lane two. Emily Howland. In the water now for Hopkinton. Look for Sophie Cowan, freshman Hopkinton. And also Elizabeth Kane, freshman Hopkinton. And Kelly uh, Cohen. Uh, Kelly Cohen, sorry, junior from Hopkinton. Actually, we've got a whole Hopkinton. Let's run it across. Senior Mallory Peishoff, Hopkinton, lane one. Freshman Sophie Cowan, Hopkinton, lane two. Julia Bemis, lane three. Elena Battagliano, lane four. Elizabeth Kane, freshman, Hopkinton, five. And in, uh, up top, junior Kaylee Cohane, lane six, Hopkinton. The girls come across, lane two, lane one, battling for the lead. That is Cowan, Peishoff, Hopkinton across the board as they come in for the last 25. Let's see what they've got. Shooting for time, that's lane two, Sophie Cowan. Up top in six, Elizabeth Kane. And lane one, senior Peishoff. Let's see who gets it. It is two, Sophie Cowan. It is five, Elizabeth Kane. And it is in third place. Not in third place, Mallory Peishoff also placing lane six and fourth. Center of the pool, Peyton Salyer, Topkinton. Across the board, Brennan Morgan. Brenna Morgan, lane one. Ava Harrington, two. Center of the pool, junior Peyton Salyer, Topkinton. Emily Pepper, Sonny Fox and freshman Hopkinton, Mia Carboni in lane six. Sunny Fox is not so sunny, she's not in the pool. At the turn, center of the pool, a battle between Emily Pepper and junior Peyton Salyards. These are important points, especially against rival Ashland. That's Peyton Salyards challenging Ashland. Let's see what she's got, folks. Watch out for lane one. That is Brennan Morgan from Medfield. It looks like it's going to be Ashland. Morgan. Peyton Salyards takes third. Fifth up top is Mia Carboni, freshman. So the junior takes third from Hopkinton. Good swim, Peyton Salyards. Winning time, 101. Look for Hopkinton across the top of the pool. Katie Landry, lane one. Emily Caprini, lane two. Grace Cavanaugh, center of the pool. Junior Hopkinton, Bridget Belger, senior. Hopkinton, lane four. Ansley Worrell, junior. Hopkinton, lane five. Kate Burkett, lane six. Across the center of the pool, keep your eyes on Grace Cavanaugh. Bridget Belger, Ansley Worrell. They come across almost together. At the turn, going in to the last 50, a slight lead in the center of the pool by Bridget Belger. Bridget Belger, Grace Cavanaugh, I'm sorry, in lane three at the turn, followed closely by Belger. Ansley Worrell not far behind. It's going to be a race. That is Cavanaugh. Caprini, Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh, does she have it? Can she get it? Touched out just at the end, but a good swim. 
by junior Grace Cavanaugh taking second. Senior Bridget Felger takes third. And contributing in fifth, that is Ansley Worrell. Great swims by the girls. All points Hopkinton needs. First heat of the boys, no Hopkinton swimmers. We've got Eddie Wang. We've got Ben Dennison in lane two. We've got Nikki Alwani in lane three. We've got Samuel Damaris in four. Uh, Matthew Chikakachi in lane five. And Evan McManus in lane six. Good crowd here today as first year Hopkinton coach Jeff Libby tries to steer his team to his first TVL meet win. TVL championship meet win, I should say. That trophy has rested firmly in Hopkinton for quite some time. These kids want to keep it there. They were unsuccessful in retaining their crown in the TVL meet, getting beaten in head-to-head -head by Ashland, who went undefeated in the TVL beating Hopkinton in a very close meet a couple of days ago. So the TVL has been determined, but the championship meet and the championship trophy still up for grabs. Currently, Hopkinton is in the lead, closely followed by rival Ashland. As the swimmers come in, that is lane five, posting a 119.94. Matthew Chikakaki. Dover, Sherborne, freshman. Team cheering on lane six, that is Evan McManus from Dover, Sherborne. Heat number two, lane one, Elliot Neutra. Lane three, Matthew Duchesne. Lane four, Kipling Stopa. And lane five, Ben Tron. We will not see a Hopkinton swimmer until heat number four, two more heats away. The merch man, Connor Merch. Lane one with a slight lead at the turn heading into the next 50. That's Elliot Neutra. The final turn, that is lane one. Elliot Neutra. Freshman, Dover Sherborne. It's his heat. Touches in at a 107.74. Heat three. It's like only two swimmers in heat number three. Whoops. Oh. Nope. A couple of guys didn't know which heat they were in. Here we go. Heat three. Four swimmers in lane two. That is Kyle Sweeney in lane four. That is Joey Scrimshaw Hall. Five, Jonah Kaplan. Six, Scott McCarran. Swimmers take the first turn straight across the pool. A cloudy day here on Super Bowl Sunday. Six more weeks of winter, according to that little rodent, the groundhog. They take the turn straight across the pool, lanes two and six. If you haven't seen it already, Groundhog Day, one of my favorite movies. Going to Punxsutawney for Groundhog Day is on my bucket list. Don't hold it against me. Hopkinton will put its first swimmer in the water in the 100 freestyle in the next heat. Looking lean, too, for the big man, Connor Murchie. 
to Merch. Lane two, Kyle Sweeney. Touching in at a 107-01. Followed closely by the three other swimmers. Connor Merch, the first man in for Hopkinton, lane four, or heat four. Seven heats of the 100 free. See what Connor can throw down here. Sid Kumar, lane one. Connor Murchie, junior. Hopkinton, lane two. Nick Telford, lane three. Joe, John, John Caravan, lane four. Chris Stronach, lane five. Jack McCarran, lane six. At the turn, straight across the pool. Slight lead in the middle, that is, Caravan. Followed closely by the Merchman in lane two. Pushing hard, taking the turn. Connor's digging. Good wall. Nice turn, Connor. That is Merch moving in, taking the lead in lane two. Junior, Hopkinton, Connor Murchy. He takes the turn in the lead. Let's see if he can hold. Connor Murchie, lane two. Challenged, lane three, that's Nick Telford. Merch digging hard. That's lane two, Connor Murchie. He's going to take it. Junior, Connor Murchie throws down a 104-61. Beats his seed time by at least a minute or a second and a half. And they swim by the Merch man. 104-61. We'll keep an eye on that. See if he can move himself up. Heat five. Will Prezzuti, lane one. Liam Murphy, lane two. Center of the pool, freshman Cole, Salyards, Hopkinton. Gabriel Cedrone, four. Ben Temple, five. Owen Reed, lane six. Watch the center of the pool, lane three. Cole Salyards, freshman. Opening up a lead. One of the building blocks of this team moving forward. Strong swimmer, great stroke for this young man, opening up at least a body length lead at this point. That is Cole Salyards, freshman, Hopkinton, middle of the pool. These guys are all chasing the TVL record set by Roger Gu at a 46.99. I would say that record is intact for this year. That's a phenomenal swim. That is college time. Salyards running away with it with a 56.91. Great swim, drops almost three seconds. Crushes the competition. Phenomenal swim by Cole Salyards. That's gonna move him up. We'll keep an eye on that 56-91. Great swim by the gutsy freshman. Hopkinton senior, Ian Holmes, captain, lean one. Carmelo Cedrone, two. Will Meriden, three. Jack Green, four. Kyle Keeney, five. Matt Berard in lane six. Watch Captain Ian Holmes in lane one. He's had a couple of good swims already. A 56-91 thrown down by freshman Cole Salyards. In heat number five is going to be something to watch as they take the turn. A lead in the center of the pool. That is Will Meriden. Followed by Jack Green, pressed in lean one by senior Ian Holmes. They take the turn. This is Meriden's race. Closely followed by Jack Green in lean four. Holmes pressing, pushing. Holmes, can he put himself in third position? Ian Holmes reaches, gets it. A 58-22. That 56 just moved well up into the into the placing. A win of 55.09 with second place at 57.45. That means Salyard has moved up into the top 12 considerably. As Hopkinton has no swimmer in the final heat, those are huge swims by Captain Ian Holmes and freshman Cole Salyards across the pool in the final heat. We've got Bryce Whitney, lean one, Richard Lee, lane two. Vanya Lukashev, lane four, three. Alex Gu, lane five. Liam Dietrich, 
six. Jonathan Priote in lane six. Center of the pool, that is Lukashev. Turned at a 23-83, the kid is moving. A good swim by the junior in Ashland, Vanya Lukashev. Challenged now by Gu, teammate, freshman. It will be Lukashev, Gu, 50.58. That 56.91 almost got into the top six as sixth place comes into the 55.54. Again, great swim by freshman Cole Salyards in a 56.91 and senior captain Ian Holmes. Some points well needed and deserved by Hopkinton swimmers and we will ready ourselves for the 200 yard freestyle relay. Four laps. 50 yards each, freestyle. We'll see if they take a break. We're not sure yet. They might. They may take a break and actually do uh, announce um, some winners. We'll see in a minute. Raj, why don't we shut down? We'll take a breather. Okay. We'll be back in a minute. Do you find yourself feeling down in winter? Or if you experience depression through the year, does it get worse in the colder and darker months? I'm here to tell you about winter depression and what you can do that may be helpful. Seasonal affective disorder, or SAD, is a type of depression that tends to occur in the fall. You may lose your energy and motivation. You may feel sluggish, agitated, distracted, hopeless, and you may have problems with sleeping, your appetite, or suicidal thoughts. SAD can lead to social withdrawal, problems with school or work, and substance abuse. Here's the good news. You can talk with your primary care physician, your psychiatrist, or mental health professional. There are effective treatments such as counseling, light box therapy, or medication. Sometimes we feel bad in the fall and winter anyway, especially during the holidays. But if a mood slump continues for days or weeks, don't wait. Talk with your doctor or counselor for more information and support. And we are back. So a couple of awards went on, a couple of recognitions. One of the things that we do want to update everybody is, as of this juncture, after 14 events, Hopkinton, men and women's combined lead rival Ashland by a slim margin. This meet will be close the rest of the way. We are getting ready for our next event, and we are coming down to the end of the meet. We have four events left. We're going to start with the 200 freestyle relay. We will go into the 100-yard backstroke. We'll go into the 100-yard breadstroke. And then to end the meet, the four by 100 free relay. This is the 200-yard freestyle relay. Lane one, Norton lane two, Dedham lane three, Medfield lane four, Westwood and lane five, Norton. Norton C lane one and Norton B in Excuse me, lane five. <coughs> These girls are all chasing meet records set by, uh, the TVL record set by Hopkinton back in 2016. Kavanaugh, Fisher, Franklin, Hanrahan, a uh, uh, mark of 144.41. The meet record of 143.79 is held by Zhang, Sharon, Body, and Milne of Ashland. Second swimmers in the water. Each swimmer 50 yards freestyle. It is an all out sprint. Generally these legs come down to the fastest swimmer putting the last position, the anchor leg. Touching first, that is Westwood. Three swimmers in the water now. Across the pool, Westwood, Medfield, Norton, B. Actually, it looks like we only have one, two, three, four in the water, so we have dropped uh, Norton, C. So no swimmers in lane one. That's Westwood into the water with their final swimmer, I believe. 
Yes, final swimmers in the water. There'll be four heats of women today. Hopkinton will place its relays in heats three and four. Hopkinton right now owning the top two spots in heat number four. Their A and B relays both topping their competitors. A one-two could be a fatal blow to rival Ashland, but we will see. First place in heat number one, that is lane four, Westwood, with a mark of 208.19. Heat two. Five teams in the water, that is Dedham B in lane one, that is Holliston B in lane two, Medfield B in lane three, that is Ashland B in lane four, and up in lane six. Oops, and a slow start, we do have Dover C just uh, got in the water. They did not know they were swimming, but they did start with the catch up. So we get Dover C in lane five and Holliston C in lane six. Touching first, next swimmer in the water. That is Medfield B. As I said, Hopkinton will place three relays. Uh, we'll see if they do a C relay. Coach Libby has scratched those relays before, but he'll see. We'll see if they can swim them. The reason why I say that is. In the relay portion, you can only score two of your relays in the top 12. So each team can only score two. So coach may conserve his swimmers, hold them out on these C relays, although some kids are going for times. We'll see how that shakes out. In the water together for third swimmers, we've got two, two teams. That's lean one, Dedham lean three, midfield. And the uh, folks from Dover late to the start, back into the water. Make it up some ground, though. Girls are swimming hard. Center of the pool, midfield, lean one, Dedham. Into the water first, that's midfield, Dedham. That is Dover. Ashland, rather, and then Holliston. Dover Sherborne sees made up a ton of ground there, about a half a lap back when they jumped in the water a little late, not knowing they were swimming. And they've made a lot of that back up. And that is cruising to victory in lean three, midfield, with a mark of 201 28. It looks like Hopkinton will place its first relay in lane one. I see the girls behind the block. That's good. Coach Libby getting the kids in. Hopkinton will put his first relay. That's Hopkinton C, lane one. And we'll have Westwood B in lane two. Medfield A in lane three. Holliston A in lane four. Dedham A in lane five. And Dover B in lane six. Eyes on Hopkinton. C in lane one. Swimmers first in the water across the pool at the first turn. A lot of smiles on this Hopkinton team right now. They hold a slim, but they do hold the lead. A slim margin, but they hold the lead. Center of the pool, midfield, Holliston put their second swimmers in the water. Hopkinton launches its third second swimmer in lane one. Hopkinton putting three relays in. They will have two relays, both top seeds. My guess is Ashland's going to come gunning at them. In the top heat, we have one more heat left. This is heat three of four. Center of the pool once again. That is Holliston at Medfield. Both in the water almost at the same time. Third swimmer in the water for Hopkinton now. Tight, tight race. This is for some points. That's the center of the pool. Medfield, Holliston. 
slight lead. We go to the anchor, half a body length. Medfield first, Holliston second. Third, Dedham into the water. Westwood, Ashton, or I'm sorry, uh, Dover Sherborne up top. Hopkinton into the water. Hopkinton C. It will be Medford, Medfield. I keep saying Medford. For the 1 49 46. We'll see if they can move up. Two teams pitted above them or seated with times a little bit slower than that. Let's see if that 149 moves them up. Rounding out, Hopkinton takes six, posting a time of. We didn't get it. Let's see if it posts. Top heat. Here we go, folks. Some points on the line. Let's see what Hopkinton, Hopkinton can do. Westwood, Ashland, Hopkinton A, Hopkinton B, Dover Sherborne, Norton. Big race here. Good start by Lane 2, Ashland. Really good start by their first swimmer. This is 50 yard, four by 50s. These are starts and turns. It is about the turnovers. It is about the handoffs. Let's see what we can do. Ashland holding a slim lead up in lane five. That is Dover Sherborne. Hopkinton's three, four. All the swimmers in the water almost around the same time. Good starts. Hopkinton's team pressing Ashland. That's lane three, Hopkinton A. Lane four, B, they turn straight across the pool. It's a race, folks. That is Hopkinton B up top in four, Hopkinton A in three. Ashland straight across the pool. A big race here, great start by Hopkinton up in lane four. It is, as it always comes down, gonna be up to the anchors of these three teams. My money's on Andrea Way in the middle of the pool though, folks. She's already broken the 50. Hopkinton, slight lead. Ashland, lane two. In the water with the anchors. Let's see what Way's got. Great start. She's already made up half a body length. It's a sprint. Hopkinton, A, B, and Ashland across the pool. The turn, it's way in the center of the pool for Hopkinson. Pressing, Ashland, way, pushing. She's made it up and she's going to take it way in the center of the pool. Hopkinson goes, one, three. Huge points. Phenomenal swims by the Hopkinson girls. Ashland presses, takes second. Hopkinton put some points up with one and two, or one and three. Great, great swims. Now to the men. Winning time, 144.94. Just, uh, just off the meet record of a 143.79. Good swim by the girls. Center of the pool, we've got Westwood and Dover, three and four. Westwood B, Dover C. <laughs> These guys are chasing the TVL boys. Record for the 200 free relay set in 2012. The TVL record, Ashland, that's Lukashev, Zhao, Petchy, and Gu. The meet record, a 132.49 held by Hopkinton, Jay Legassi, Franklin, Nadeau, and Carboni. Second swimmers in the water, center of the pool, Westwood, Dover. Hopkinton con continuing to amass points today. Swimmers putting down some phenomenal swims and some great races. Coach Jeff Libby must be pleased. As you heard in interviews earlier with senior captains, Caitlin O'Connor, Ian Holmes, and Maddie Staus, a change of philosophy with the change of coaching. 
trust the process, the results will come. And though Hopkinton relinquished the TVL championship, the results here today look very good. They had a great season thus far. Capping a season would be a win here today and taking that trophy back to Hopkinton where it has been for the last seven years. Center of the pool coming in, first heat. That is Westwood. We have four heats today. Hopkinton will put the first team up in the blocks. Hopkinton C in lane four. Look for the young men out there in lane four for Hopkinton. Finishing up to the cheers of the crowd. Dover Sherborne, final swimmer coming in. Mark Sat in lane three. Clocking in at 2.05.10. Good swims, a lot of cheers as Dover Shoreborn comes in. Heat number two. Oh, stay in the water, boys. There we go. Lean one, Ashland. Lean three, Dover Shoreborn. Lean four, Hopkinton C. Lean five, Dedham. Keep your eye on the C unit for Hopkinton. Up in lane four. First swimmers in the water. Four by 50, 200 free relay. It's a full out sprint. Hopkinton, Ashland together. Hopkinton C, Ashland C. I'm sorry, that's Dedham. Nope, oh, Dover Sherborne, wrong again. Dover B, Hopkinton C. Center of the pool, that is Hopkinton. Open up a body length lead. Third swimmer ready to enter the water. Hopkinton, body length lead. Third swimmer is in. Nice start. Body and half length lead already. Great start. Third swimmer just chewing up some water. Nice stroke, good power. Third swimmer. Hopkinton starting to run away with this. Hopkinton C. And the anchor's in the water. Looks like the merch man, I'm not sure. Already had a good, good meet earlier today. Swimming well. Hopkinton running away with this. Going to be challenged a little bit, but not caught. Body length lead. This is Hopkinton. Bringing it in. Hop C with the win. Clocking in at 1.52.12. Nice swim. If they could move up, but they can't, that would potentially knock one of these next teams out as there are seed times higher than that right now. Hopkinton C. Lane one, Holliston. Lane two, Hopkinton B. Lane three, Dedham. Lane four, Norton. Lane five, Medford. Medfield. Uh, lane six, Westwood. You will forgive me, I drove from Brooklyn, New York this morning to get to this meet to announce I've had about an hour and a half sleep and a three and a half hour drive. So if I stumble, please forgive me. Hopkinton sends its second swimmer into the water in second place. They are chasing Westwood up in lane six. Westwood A with a swayed edge. Hopkinton B takes the turn. They are straight across the pool. That is Hopkinton B. That is Dedham. Up top, that is Westwood. Falling off a little, it is Hopkinton, Dedham, Hopkinton into the water first. It is going to come down to the anchor, folks, and I like what we've got. Captain Ian Holmes steps up on the block. Let's see what we've got. It's going to come in neck and neck. These are valuable points. This would be big. And a chance to knock somebody out of the top heat. He's in the water. The anchors. Captain Ian Holmes. 
It's going to be close. A tough swimmer next to him from from Dedham. It's Hopkinton. Dedham. Dedham with a half a body length. Ian's grinding. Grinding. Can he reach out? Oh, ran out of pool. He needed a couple more yards of pool. Good swim. Good showing by the boys. It's a 146-19. The winning time of 145-44. So Hopkinton B. Dedham takes it in three. Last heat. Hopkinton will put its A relay in lean two. Ashland having two relays, the men similar to the women for Hopkinton, with two relays in the final. Hopkinton's got to take second or third here and outplace Ashland. If they can challenge for first, better still. Ashland strong in the freestyle, but Hopkinton challenging. Half a body length separates one and two. Hopkinton, Ashland, touch together. They're in the water. Second swimmers. Great start by Hopkinton. Half a body length separates the two teams. We're watching lanes three, two, and three. Hopkinton, Ashland. Good turn by Ashland. Open up about a body length lead. Let's see what Hopkinton's got. Lane two. Ashland's in the water first. Third swimmer. Hopkinton in the water. Good start. It will, as it usually does, come down to the anchor. Holliston opening up a little bit more of a lead. Hopkinton's got to stay close. Second is fine. They just don't want to drop. Hopkinton pressing, anchors in the water. That is Ashland. Ashland will win it. Hopkinton will hold in second. Ashland, that's a 133-74. Good swim. Hopkinton clocks in 137. <clears throat> Let's see if Hopkinton B moves up, and they will. Hopkinton B will enter into the top six or seven. Good points by the boys there. Nice swims. We are down to the final three events. We are prepping for the 100 backstroke as we clear the pool. We have five heats. Hopkinton will not place a swimmer until the third heat. Across right now in lane one, Alyssa Shelburne in lane two. That is Abbey College up in lane four. That is Anna Scott Johans Johnson. And in lane six, that is Amy Marsubian. 100 backstroke. Hopkinton, as I said, will not place a swimmer until the third heat. We have five. Hopkinton with two swimmers in the fifth heat. Strong showing on the women's side. The men are hanging in as well. A lot of great swims contributing to Hopkinton's lead right now. Let's hope they can hold on. Coach Libby telling his team, trust the process, the results will come. As the girls turn for the final turn coming in. These girls are chasing a TVL record set again by Corinne Carboni. TVL record of 59.26. Meet record. Abigail Martin set in 2015, 59.3. Locked in at 124, lane four. That is Anna Scott Johnson. So girls clear the pool. So 
Second heat, 100 backstroke. Hopkinton, nobody in this heat as well. Lane one, Penelope Geisen. Lane two, Samantha Blair. Lane three, Julia Prescott. Lane four, Kerry Brown. Lane five, Jacqueline Saar. And lane six, Celia Pimontis. Center of the pool. Lanes two, three, and four, six coming across at the same time. Preskenis in the center of the pool. Julia Preskenis from Westwood, freshman, holding a slim margin. Final turn. Still a good crowd here as we enter our third hour or almost finish our third hour of the meet. Center of the pool, that's going to be Chris Skennis. Freshman Westwood touches in 118.27. Nice swim by the young swimmer. All right, we're watching senior Julia Pillarella. Lane four, Hopkinton. Harley Richardson, lane six, senior. Lane two, Madison Correa. Lane three, Riley Correll. Lane four, senior, Hopkinton, Julia Pillarella. Lane five, Rachel Beer. Lane six, senior, Hopkinton, Harley Richardson. Center of the pool, early lead. That is Riley Corral. Pressed by Julia Pillarella and Madison Correa. Turn into the second half of the race. They flip it 35 66 in the center of the pool. About a body length lead. Girls are looking for time, trying to move themselves up into that top 12. Hopkinton's been doing that all day today. Great swims by the swimmers. Maybe uh, just outside of that top 10 or top 12 echelon. And they've been putting themselves in great positions with great swims. We've got a good swim coming in here by Riley Correll in the center of the pool. Junior from Dover. We'll watch and see what she clocks in. We're keeping our eye on Julia Pillarella. Hopkinton, that is a 113 center of the pool. Julia Pillarella. Fourth place, 117.40. And up top, that is Harley Richardson at a 123 coming in fifth. So 113 so far, best out of the heats. And we go to heat 4-5. We're watching Cassie White, freshman from Hopkinton, lane one. Closest to us in lane one, that is Cassie White, freshman, Hopkinton. Lane two, Emma Viglas. Lane three, Kelly Wong. Lane four, Emily Pepper. Lane five, Jasmine Chan. Lane six, Hannah Wilcox. Keep your eye on freshman Cassie White. Hopkinton, lane one. As they take the turn straight across. Cassie White battling right now in fifth. Battling for fourth. They take the turn. Four of them straight across. She's right in the mix. A lead being opened up in the center of the pool, or lane two, rather. That is Emily Viglas from Norton. Cassie White, freshman, Hopkinton, lane one, pressing hard. They take the turn. It's a race for second right now, folks. That is center of the pool, Emily Viglas. She will win this race. Cassie White. Lane one, trying to hold on to fourth. Center of the pool, second, third. Cassie White will take fourth. 
Doesn't show, but she did. She just missed the touch pad. Cassie White takes fourth in lane one. Final heat. We'll see two Hopkinton swimmers. We have our eyes on Grace Cavanaugh Jr. in lane four and also on Mary Lauren Burke, a sophomore from Hopkinton in lane five. They are off. Akshar Shanker in lane one. That is Michelle Grasberger in lane two. Chelsea Zhang lane three from Hopkinton Jr. Grace Cavanaugh from Hopkinton, sophomore in lane five, Mary Lauren M.L. Burke. And that is Maggie Fahey up there in lane six. Lane two, opening up a lead. That is Michelle Grasberger, Ashland. Straight across the pool, Zhang, Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh in second, pressing. Keep your eyes on lane four. Grace Kavanaugh, pressing. M.L. Burke, lane five. Hopkinton swimmers. That is Grassberger with a half a body length, body length lead. That's Kavanaugh pressing Zhang. She's going to hold on, it looks like, for second. She's got to push. Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh gets it. Second place. And M.L. Burke just touched. She picks up fourth up in lane five. Lane one takes it at a one double o o five, just off the mark of fifty nine twenty six. Hopkinton strong swims picking up two and four. Cavanaugh and Burke, great swims, girls. First heat, we'll see nobody from Hopkinton. We get Ian Haywood one. Brendan Masubian in lane two and Ben Pepper in lane four. Hopkinton will put its first swimmer in the next heat, Andrew Deleva. And then they will place one swimmer in heat three. Only three heat for the men. So to all you eighth graders, if you're a backstroker, Hopkinton could use you. The TVL could use you. Big recruiting by Jeff Libby for next season. A lot of shoes to fill as he graduates 14 seniors, 11 on the ladies' side, including record breaker and setter Andrea Way and several other seniors, Caitlin O'Connor, Pishoff. A good group. A lot of big shoes to fill with those girls. The men as well, the loose senior captain Ian Holmes. And two others. Just don't have the list in front of me. Be naming them all off. Coming in, that's the center of the pool. In first. That is Ben Pepper with a salty performance. 116.08. He too. We have our eyes on lane two. Andrew Deleva, Hopkinton puts its first swimmer in the water in the first and the second of three heats. 100 yard backstroke, heat number two. In lane two, sophomore Andrew Deleva, Hopkinton. In the middle of the pool, Pratt. Uh, Kataman Dewan. Kedid uh, uh Mike Gingrich, lane four, and Schrayton Marble in lane five. Andrew DeLeva holding on to second place, about a body length back in lane two. The sophomore takes the turn. Pressing junior, the junior from Ashland in lane three. Andrew DeLeva, lane two. Hopkinton trying to move himself up. He will be in the top 12. Looking to see if he can improve his time. Seed time of 117. Trying to press into that top six. Center of the pool from Ashland. Kadimwan. 
Fox in at 109. Deleva bests his seed time by four or five seconds, three seconds, with a 114.52. Nice swim by the sophomore. The final heat's in the water. Up top, lane six, that's Blake Briner, Hopkinton. They're up. In the water now, third heat, 100, 100 backstroke. Nicholas Wilcox, lane one. Liam Dietrich, lane two. Alex Pecci, lane three. Sam Govan, lane four. Richard Lee, lane five. Blake Briner, sophomore. Hopkinton, up top in lane six. Ashlands battling themselves in the center of the pool. Govan, Petsy. They take the turn. Briner takes the turn in sixth, pressing for fifth. Blake Briner, a sophomore, Hopkinton. The seed time of 107.76, looking to best that mark. As the two Ashland swimmers battle, that is Govan, and that is Petsy. Petchy with a lead, followed by Govan. Two young sophomores. Petchy, Govan, clocking in at a 57-7. And up top in lane six, Blake Briner, sophomore, Hopkinton. A 107-09 should hold him sixth position. The swimmers clear the pool. We are down to two events. Girls, 100 breaststroke. Center of the pool across lanes two, three, and four. We're going to have a combined heat, so I don't know everybody in here. But I've got Megan Adams, I've got Sarah DeVoe, and I have Amanda Trider. We will s oh. I need a battery. I need a battery. I need one for this. I just lost a battery. I'm oh, sorry, you're still on. You're okay. No, we just lost it. Take it off and put it back. Sometimes it might work for a while.
Where did she go? She went to try to find one. I, I asked my wife to bring from home. Oh, okay. She'll be here in 10 minutes. Okay, awesome. You have the old one? Yeah, it's in my coffee cup. I was going to throw it in. <laughs> I was going to try it. Is it liquid? And we're back. All right. Well, batteries die during during long meets. So we've been able to find a battery, at least temporarily. So let me bring up the speed. That was heat number five. Two swimmers in there. That was Brooklyn Briner. And that was Sierra Schlussel. Uh, the team taking one, two. That was Schlussel. In lane four, in a 126, Reiner taking second in a 127. Great showing by the Hopkinton pair. Great swims. Reiner, senior. So we did lose audio for just a short period of time there. It's like I said, we had a battery die, and we could lose it again. We dug up our old battery, and we... Switching them out, so we'll see if this works. Uh, we've got heat number six. The judges are going through a couple of things here because uh, they combined a couple of heats. Hopkinton will put a swimmer into heat six. No, they will not. We will have one swimmer from Hopkinton in the top heat. So we have some spare batteries, so we should be okay. We did dig up the other battery and we got it to work, so we're okay. No, we, we're gonna need it, it'll die again. I'm getting a look at my lovely wife who ran 
Heat number six. Oh. Well, I have this as heat number six, not five, but they're calling it five. So I gotta be honest, I'm not sure who's in the water, but there's nobody in the water for Hopkinton. And it looks like there are still two heats left. So I'm not sure who's in the water, so I'm not going to take a guess. But six, I believe we have. Um, this is what happens, a couple things like that. Heat sheets aren't quite accurate. They combine a couple, but we do want to know that Sierra Schlussel and Brooklyn Briner, both at great swims, went one, two in the last heat. Out in the pool, three swimmers, we're not sure who they are. But we do know that we've got two more heats left in the women's 100 breaststroke. The girls are chasing a record held by Victoria Fang, a 107.33 TVL record on the women's side. Three swimmers straight across, clocking in at 126.58 for that heat. This is heat number six. Hawkinton will not place a swimmer in heat six. There is some confusion. Coach Jeff Libby talking to head official Pete Foley. A little bit of frustration it looks like on coach's face. I believe one of the Hawkinton swimmers may have missed a race. Heat six across the pool, Sabrina McKay in lane one, Elena Battagliano in lane two. That's Kayla Scott in the center of the pool in lane three, Emily Smith in lane four. That's Emma Landry in lane five, and that is Summer Martin in lane six. Hopkinton with no swimmers in heat number six. We will have our eyes on sophomore Allison Fu in the final heat, the Fu fighter. Straight across the pool as they come in for the first turn. Pretty tightly bunched. The girls will turn it at 38-4. Second lap. Opening up a lead in the center of the pool. That is Kayla Scott, senior from Medfield. Hopkinton been holding on to a slight lead the entire meet. Starting off with a good, good swims and dives on Friday. At last check, Hopkinton up about 30 points over rival Ashland. Hopkinton deep on the men's side as the midfield swimmer checks out her competition. It's going to slow her time down a little bit. Center of the pool. That is Kayla Scott. Coming in at a 123.07. Keep an eye on that time. See if there's any movement into the top six. Final heat. Lane two, that is Allison Fu for Hopkinton. Go for the lineup in a moment. We are missing a swimmer in lane four across the pool. That is Peyton Levekis. In lane one, Allison Fu, sophomore, Hopkinton. Lane two, Bridget Picard. Lane three, that is Cookie Duncan missing in lane four, unfortunately. I love that name. Trinity Vo in lane five and rounding it out, that is Kayla Soska. Allison Fu not disappointing as she holds and pushes. They turn across. Fu with a little ground to make up, a good Good wall. Excellent wall by Allison Fu coming into the last 50. Battling right now for second. Center of the pool. That is Bridget Picard. 
in lane three as they come into the final 25. Fu, great wall again, but she's got some ground to make up. Center of the pool, Picard, Fu battling for fourth, pushing, trying to take third. Ten yards left. Center of the pool, Westwood, Picard, touched out. Touched out up top by lane five. That is Trinity Vo. Fu comes away with a hard-earned fourth in lane two, 117.04, winning time, 114.64. Good swim by the final grouping in the women's 100 breaststroke. It looks like they're trying to, what are they trying to do? Work a swimmer and somebody's missed a swim. As we prepare for the men's. A couple of things going on down on deck. Good time to tell you that we're down to, after the men's, we will go to our final event. Try to have a score update. A lot of the swimmers are going to start to filter into the swim meet. They have been on sort of a off-deck area in the uh, in Keith Tech here, uh, off, to the, off uh, to the side because it's a crowded, the deck would be crowded with all the swimmers. They're going to all start filtering in. You can see the relays all starting to line up. Men's and women's, we've got the men's 100 breaststroke. Looking ahead for the men's 100 breaststroke, Hopkinton strong as they have one, two, three across, across the board. Richardson, Cody, Matsukas. Hopkinton looks to dominate in the 100 breaststroke, but we won't get too excited to get ahead of ourselves as we have four heats. This is where Hopkins puts some pressure on Ashland in the dual meet. They are deep in the breaststroke. They always have been. The men are chasing the record held by Will Olson from Hopkinton set in 2010, 59-88. Just off the school mark. That might be long standing, held by Karen Terry's youngest uh, young son, Sean Terry, set way back. I don't know the date, but that record was set at least 15 years ago, maybe 10 years ago. I don't know if Sean's that old. Apologize, Sean, if you're listening. That's a record that's going to stay around for a while, 59-6, if I believe, if I remember correctly. That's uh, Division Three college winning time, time in a high school kid, good swimmer. We have lost head official Pete Foley. We're not really sure where he is. They're working out a couple of things right now, going through some things. I don't know what's up. A little bit of downtime. Raj, why don't you just pan around so you can start to see the kids line up a little bit, fill some dead air here. Might want to take a break, actually, in a minute. Oh, there Pete Foley emerges. There has been a conference of some sort. Let's see what's going to go on here. It looks like somebody missed, one of the girls missed her race. Might have been freshman Peyton Levecus. If she didn't miss the race, then she's just disappointed with what she swam. But it looks like we've, we've had somebody either miss a race. Coach Libby, Coach Terry talking to head official Pete Foley. Let's try to figure out what's going on here. Good time to tell you that today is Super Bowl Sunday. But as far as the TVL is concerned, this is their Super Bowl. Hopkinton's had a great season this year. Nothing to be ashamed of. A great inaugural year for head coach Jeff Libby. Assistant coach Karen Terry's been here for a long time. She's no stranger to this. Jeff Libby, first year assistant last year, promoted the head coach. Taking over the reins. And we head into our first heat of the men's 100. Chris Herbst in lane two. Ashwin Regina in lane 
three and that is Josh Taylor in lane four. Hopkinton will not place a swimmer until the final heat and they will place three. A sweep across the board will be devastating for Holliston. And Hopkinton men can do it. We'll see if they can hold up. There's only one Ashland swimmer in the top six. That is Ben Temple. Hopkinton has dominated men's breaststroke for a long time. And they continue to do that. First turn, center of the pool. Rajiva. Ashland Rajiva. Taking the turn. After the 100 breaststroke, we will get into the four by 100 freestyle relay. It is the relay that allows any team to have bragging rights, win or lose, but win, winners can brag. That is the race that everybody looks to. Exciting, there will be a lot of cheering, a lot of yelling. It should be a lot of fun for both the men's and the women's side. Hopkinton ladies will have two of their freestyle relays in the top six. Hopkinton men as well will have two. Lane two wins the first heat. Chris Herbst, freshman from Medfield in a 127-64 as we ready ourselves for heat number two. Five swimmers in the pool, lane one, Matt Noel, lane two, Ryan Suttoth, lane three, Jared Grant. Niraj Padmadaban in lane four, and that is Jonathan Wessler up in lane five. Center of the pool, Grant opens up a lead, a body length. Nice long stroke for that breast stroker. He is a senior from Holliston takes the turn at a 35-11 breaststroke a lot of underwater and walls difficult difficult stroke as these swimmers come into their final lap and take the turn Hopkinton men are lining up center of the pool looking for the sweep what could be the dagger in the heart of this Ashland team hoping to come in and solidify their TVL championship with a win at the championship meet. It does not look like that will be, but we don't know yet. Center of the pool in a 115-42. Jared Grant, senior, Holliston. Nice swim. As we ready ourselves for heat number three, again, no Hopkinton swimmers. They are bunched at the front in heat number four. Five swimmers in the water for the 100 breaststroke in lane one, Andrew Liu. In lane two, Jeffrey Wong. In lane three, Jack Green. Lane four, that is Ryan Kramer. And lane six, that is David Hahn. Straight across the pool, lanes one through four take the turn. As the men ready themselves for the next heat, Hopkinton. They stare down the pool, hoping to go one, two, three. They take the turn at a 34-9. Three swimmers bunched in the center of the pool. That is Green, Kramer, Wong. Hahn in lane six, closely followed lane one, Andrew Liu. The final turn, center of the pool, that's Jack Green. That's Kramer. Ashland, Dover. Ashland Dover fighting it out as we change our batteries once again. Thank you to my wife Nancy for running around and getting that and to the custodian and folks here at Keith Tech. Gracious hoax, by the way, this is not an easy meet for them to manage. A lot of kids, a lot of parents. And here we go, folks. Big race for these three young gentlemen. 
Center of the pool, keep your eyes on Richardson, Cody, Metsukis. They are in the water, good start, clean start. Closest to us, Sam Richardson, senior, Hopkinton. In lane one, Peter Barrett, lane two, Sam Richards, senior, Hopkinton. Center of the pool, junior, Sam, Cody, Hopkinton. Lane four, sophomore, Alex Matsukis. Hopkinton, lane five, Sam Darley, lane six, Ben Temple taking the turn. That is Richardson, Matsukis, followed closely by Cody. Cody's got to pull it up, trailing a little bit and challenged in the first lane by Barrett. We're looking for a sweep here, folks, at the final turn. That is Matsukis, Richardson, Cody. Let's see what they've got. Cody pressing. Pulling up, it is Richardson, it's Matsukis. Lane four, Matsukis will win. They will sweep. <laughs> Stick a fork in it, they are done. This meet might be over, folks. One, two, three. First time it's happened today, and it happens in the final individual event, the 100 breaststroke. That is Matsukis, Richardson, and Cody. Senior, Sam Richardson taking second. Center of the pool, lane four, Matsukis picks it up in a 104-31. Followed in third by Sam Cody. Phenomenal swim. That may have just sealed Hopkinton's fate and the fate of Ashland. Phenomenal swim. There'll be a couple of minutes maybe before we go into the last, the last event. Last event is a relay, the four by 100 freestyle relay. We'll see if we can get a score. I'm gonna try to get a score going into the final. It'd be nice if we could get the score after that event, which is event number uh, 22. Uh, that was huge. A sweep from a points perspective is uh, 41 points. That's a massive swing for Hopkinton, roughly 41 points. In a meet like this, that's a huge, huge event for the Hopkinton team. Congratulations to those three swimmers, Cody, Richardson, and winner, Matsukis. Bright future as those two of those guys are coming back. So breaststroke looks good. Matsukis, the winner, a sophomore with a 104, besting his seed time of a 106. Cody, a junior takes third, Richardson will graduate the only one. And we await the four by 100, ladies. Hopkinton will place all three of their female 400 relays in the final heat. Their A, B, and C relays, they come in seated first with Hopkinton A. B seated third, and C is seated fifth. They can only score two, but I think the coach just wants to demonstrate their depth as he should. We have three heats of the women. We will have three heats of the men. Get a few minutes and a little bit of downtime. I think we're gonna try to get a score announcement. Why don't we, we're going to cut right now because we got a little bit of dead time. We'll hold, we'll be back in a minute. My name is Kurt. My name is Nina. I'm Gunny. I'm Haley. Hi, my name is Jake. We're the Hiller Volleyball Team. My name is Emma. My name is May. My name is Shelby. My name is Sophie. We're Al and Gal and we love H-Camp. Hey, I want to be uh, camp. We love H-Camp. And I volunteer for H-Camp TV. I watch H-Camp TV. And I love H-Camp TV. And I love H-Camp TV. We love H-Camp TV. Woo! All right, we are back. OK. 
Didn't seem like a delay to you guys, but we've been sitting here for the last 20 minutes, 15 minutes. First heat, girls. This is it, final event. Girls and boys, 400 freestyle relay. Girls up first. In the water in lane one, Norton B. Ashland B, lane two, in lane three, Dover B, and up in lane five, that is Dover C. Four by 100 freestyle relay. Each swimmer swimming a 100 freestyle for them total. Please take a little bit of time as each swimmer swims a 100 freestyle. Coming into the first turn, center of the pool, that is Dover B. Hopkinton will not place teams until on the women's side. They will put all three of their relays in the final heat. Hopkinton A goes in seated considerably better than their closest rival on the women's side. Hopkinton B seated third and Hopkinton C seated fifth. Hopkinton can only put, can only score two relays in the top 12 as these swimmers hand off to the second swimmer that is lane two Ashland this is where Hopkinton's depth is going to really help them as we've seen it already tonight I am not sure that Hopkinton has not led at any point in this meet starting with the diving and the 500 Hopkinton has held the lead I believe the entire meet it is close but I do not think that rival Ashland will be able to catch them. Second swimmers in the water. Their turn for the first 50. There will be three heats of women. We're in heat number one in the water is Norton B, Ashland B, Dover B, and Dover C. Third swimmers up in the block, ready for the handoff. In the center of the pool, that is Dover B, ready to put their third swimmer in the water, and they do. About a half a, half a lap lead over Norton B in lane one. Lane number two, that's Ashland getting ready to put their third swimmer into the water. And up top, lane five. Dover C launches their third swimmer. Cruising in the middle lane right now. That is Dover B. There are three heats. This is heat number one of three. These girls are all chasing the TBL record set by Hopkinton in 2016. The team of Kavanaugh, Fisher, Franklin, and Way. That would be Emily Way, Andrea's younger her older sister, younger sister, older sister, I believe. 342.60. That mark that was etched. The meat record is actually a 345.48, set down in 2010. That is Finn, Eccles, Kehoe, and Schroeder. That's Medfield. I know that because of Kehoe, Mary Kehoe. Very talented swimmer. Swam at Middlebury. And the anchor goes in. That's the center of the pool. That would be Dover B. Looks like some ground was made up in lane one. That's Norton B. Pressing on Dover in the center of the pool. Lane two getting ready to launch their final swimmer. That's Ashland. Uh, lane five, that was Dover C. So we got a battle because Norton has pressed. Center of the pool, that's Dover B, Norton, Norton uh, B in lane one, closing the gap. It's a long race, it's exciting. You can see plenty of lead shifts. Center of the pool, they have led for the entire race, but pressing lane one, that is Norton, trying to make it interesting. Bring this crowd to life towards the end of this meet. Super Bowl Sunday, TDL Super Bowl right here. Hopkinton right now has led, I believe, wire to wire and hoping 
to finish strong. Center of the pool, this is Dover B. Clocking in at a 4.45.22. Followed closely in lane one, that is Norton. Touch pad problems in lane one. We have three heats. We'll ready ourselves to put the second heat in the water in a moment. Six for Ashland in second. 604. It's not done yet, but it is a considerable lead for Hopkinton going into the last, especially since they stack both relays, placing several relays in the top heats. Into the water now, heat number two for the ladies. That is Medfield A in lane one, Holliston A in lane two, Ashland A in lane three, Dover, Sherborne A in lane four, that is Westwood C in lane five, and Holliston B in lane six. Westwood will put also two relays. Ashland does not place a women's relay in the top heat, this meet is done. Hopkinton should cruise to victory today. Don't want to be anticlimactic, but there is no way Ashland will catch them. These kids should be proud as these teams begin to hand off to their second swimmers. A lot of pride, a lot of team spirit, a lot of camaraderie, a great Great effort by first year head coach Jeff Lippy, assistant coach, longtime assistant coach Karen Terry. Second swimmers are in the water for Ashland, Dover, Holliston, Medfield. Captains have done a great job to keep this team focused, keep them working hard. Several of these swimmers from Hopkinton will go on and continue to swim in both sectionals and states. For some, this will be the end of their season. It's been a great season thus far. Want to bring it to its rightful conclusion if they can hang on tonight, this afternoon rather, and bring home that TVL trophy. They will not be TVL champions. They lost in the regular season to Ashland, but as a demonstration of their depth and commitment, you see it today, Hopkinton will better all seven, will be the better of all seven teams in the TVL. Third swimmers are in the water, center of the pool, Ashland, Dover, Westwood goes in, Holliston goes in, Medfield, lane one goes in. Holliston A in lane two, looking to put their water, their third swimmer in the water. Hard to keep track of laps in here, but the center of the pool has the lead. Fourth swimmer going up, stepping up on the blocks. That's in lane three. That's Ashland A. We'll keep an eye on their time to see if they can bump one of Hopkinton's Two relays out. Seed time coming in for Ashland, 418. Hopkinton's three relays all better than a 412. See what they can do tonight. Oh, that's a false start. I don't think he picked it up, but that's a false start. Lane three. 
She left way too early. We'll see if he caught it. Pete Foley making a note. I believe they DQ'd. Lane three should be out. That would add insult to injury for Ashland tonight. As it looked like the anchor swimmer fall started. If I can see it up here, I think the official on the uh, deck should see it. She makes her final turn in. Right now it is Ashland in the center of the pool with the lead. As all final divers, all final swimmers, anchor legs are in the pool. Coming in, that is lane four. Dover, A. Coming in second, at least for now, that is Ashland, A. We will see if they were DQ'd. She left very early. Up top, Westwood, third. This is heat two of three. We have one more heat to go. Looking forward to that third heat in lane one will be Hopkinton C, lane two, Hopkinton B, lane three, Hopkinton A. Top seed time of a 3.41.60. Lane four will be Westwood, lane five, Norton A, Westwood A, and then Westwood B in lane six. So Ashland comes in at a 4.25. They will not move up and they will not challenge. A 4.16 could challenge one of the one of the relays in the top heat. We'll see. Uh, we'll see if um, what went on with Ashland's relay. It did look like she fall started. But it's not my call from up here. Final heat, women's. Event 23, girls, 400 freestyle relay. Chasing the TVL record. And Hopkinson's got a shot at this. Kavanaugh, Fisher, Franklin, Way, and a meet record of a 345. They should get this. That's Finn, Eccles, Keo, Schroeder. Keep your eye on the center of the pool. Lane three, Hopkinton A. As Hopkinton looks to break another record. Center of the pool, that is Hopkinton. Lanes one, two, three, Hopkinton A, B, and C. This is going to get noisy, ladies and gentlemen. Lead swimmers in the water straight across. Hopkinton challenged by lean five. That is Norton. Center of the pool, lean three. Seed time better than the meet record. Let's see if Hopkinton can take it. It is Hopkinton. It is Norton. Lane five, lane three, first swimmers, that's the battle. Hopkinton B holding on in third. Second swimmers ready to launch, they are in the water. Clean start for both. Hopkinton, half a body length lead. Center of the pool, expanding it now. Second swimmer takes the turn, body length and a half. Hopkinton B holding on third place as they take the turn. Norton still hanging in second. Hopkinton extends the lead in the center of the pool. Halfway done, her leg, second swimmers. Hopkinton B relay in lane two, holding on to second. Their third place, barely being challenged by Westwood in lane four. Hopkinton swimmers in the center of the pool, cruising right now with a two body length lead, center of the pool. Norton hanging on. And Hopkinton, it is a tight race right now for third, fourth. Hopkinton B battling. Second swim, third swimmers in the water, center of the pool. Hopkinton extending its lead. Cruising right now in the center of the pool. That is Hopkinton, their A relay. They are looking to break the meet record of 342.60.
set in 2016 by Kavanaugh, Fisher, Franklin, and Way. Anchor will be Andrea Way. Let's see what she's got. Center of the pool cruising. Hopkinton B right now in fourth. Norton being challenged by Westwood in lane four. Ready to launch Andrea Way. Anchor, she's got 100 yards left going in the water at a 251. This is possible. And Hopkinton B puts their final swimmer in the water. It is Hopkinton, Norton, Westwood, Hopkinton, Way cruising right now. They have a full lap lead over Norton. They will not be caught. The question is, will they break the record? Hopkinton B now challenging Westwood. Final swimmers, 50 yards left. They've got it down to a body length. In lane two, watch lane two, Way is coming in. They will not get the record, but a great swim as Way touches in at a 3, 44, 36. They will get the meet record. They will not get the TVL record. So another record drops, and Way's name is in the mix. Hopkinton B sprinting. They will lose and only take fourth. Not lose, they will take fourth. I was going to say they will run out of pool. They needed five or six yards more as they were closing. Anchor leg with closing speed. Phenomenal swims by both a one and a four. This meet is now officially done. Ashland will not catch them. Hopkinton C comes in, sixth position. They can't score anyways. They can't put three in the top 12. They will put two at positions one and four and on to the men. Great swims by the girls. All right, one, two, three, four, five men in the pool, and I only have three names, so I'm not really sure who we've got. And two, I think we have Norton, and three, we have Ashley, and four, we have Holliston. I'll see if I can read some caps. I think we have two Ashland relays in one and two, or in two and three, rather. One and two, I believe we get Ashland. I cannot tell. Center of the pool, I believe, is Holliston men's. A couple extra relays here. First swimmers are in the water. I'm going to be hard-pressed to tell you I've got a heat sheet that's only got Three, three teams. Unless we've combined. Right now we're scheduled to have three heats. We may not have three heats. I think we have only have two. As the men are in the water, second swimmers are off. Second swimmers in the pool, center of the pool. Actually lane five. Two body length lead up in lane five. Lanes two and three battling. Lane four, sitting in fourth, lane, five, lane one in, lane in fifth place. Second swimmers are up. Closing on their second 50. Third swimmers on the block. Up top that believe in lane five, that is Holliston. Might be Norton. Actually, I think we're just doing heat number two. I don't think we're doing heat number one. So if I have it, I've got Dover, Sherborne, A, Dover, Dover B in lane one, Dover A in lane two, Dedham in three, Norton in lane four, Medfield in lane five. I'm going to go with that. That's what I think we got. Yep. That's what we're going with. Up top lane five, that is Norton. Third swimmer. 
half a lap lead. Lane two and three battling. That is Dedham and Dover. Dover clean two, Dedham lane three. A relays battling it out as the anchor swimmers ready themselves. Coming in, anchor swimmer getting ready up on the blocks. That is Norton. Norton A, three quarter of a lap lead. Final swimmer in, close start, but I think he's fine. As they begin to extend in the water now, that is Dedham. Then Dover. Oh, I'm sorry, it's Medfield in lane five. It's that's Norton going into the water now. Medfield up top, lane five, cruising. Been a long day. If you're watching this whole thing, thanks for sticking with us. We have one more heat left. Into the water now with their first fourth swimmer is Dover B, first lane. They take the turn. Coming in up top, that is going to be Medfield, the A relay. Some excited people. See what time they throw down. Medfield comes in 4 00 57, lane 5. Lane 2, lane 3, rather. Dedham. 4 10. These kids are trying to qualify for sectionals and states. Lane two. That is Dover. Lane four. Norton. Final swimmer coming in in lane one for Dover B. Taking the final turn. This will be it, ladies and gentlemen. Heat three. Lane one will be Westwood. Lane two, Ashland, lane three, Ashland, lane four, Holliston, lane five, Hopkinton, lane six, Hopkinton. Look for Ashland to run away with this. They are strong and they are trying to, I don't know if they're going to break that meet record. That meet record's pretty good. We'll get to that in a second. Director. There's some final announcements from the meet director, the athletic director from Holliston, running the meet today. Raj, I don't know if you can pan to the right. Hopkinton's got their team lined up there at the far end because Hopkinton relays are in lanes five and six. It is all elementary at this point. Ashland center of the pool, watch them. They are strong, freestyle. Hopkinton up top, five and six. In the water, last heat of the day. This is it, this is the event. This is for bragging rights, folks. This meet's over, Hopkinton will win it. This is just about bragging rights. Hollis, or hard. we've got uh, Ashland and center of the pool. Um, Holliston battling it out. Lead swimmers in the water. Ashland, Ashland, Holliston straight across the pool. Hopkinton, first swimmer in the waters. Five and six. Up top on the top of your screen. Holding on to fourth right now is Hopkinton. These guys are chasing a meet record. Set back in 2012, the team of P. Legassi, Carboni, Franklin, K. Legassi, a 320.36 mark. First swimmers hand off, second swimmers in. Ashland lane two, Ashland lane three, and one and two. Hopkinton holding on to fourth, trailing and pressing. Holliston in lane five. Ashland A, Ashland B, center of the pool, followed by Holliston. Hopkinton A, not far behind. As the second swimmers head toward their second 50. Hopkinton B, up top, trying to take fifth. Would be great points there in sixth right now. Center of the pool is where the race is. Ashland begins to open up.
Ashland puts the third swimmer in. Second swimmer, third swimmer in for Ashland B. Holliston, Hopkinton places their third swimmer in fourth. Holliston pressing in lane four. Hopkinton firmly in lane in fourth place in lane five. Hopkinton B is now moved into fifth place. Good points that Hopkinton B up in lane six. Holliston pressing. This is for bragging rights, folks. One more swimmer left. The turn, the last 25. Hopkinton now pressing Ashland for third place. A great swim by the third swimmer here, third leg. Anchors are up on the blocks. Ashland will go in the water first. Ashland's in, great start. Holliston. Ho Ashland, Hopkinton's in fourth. Firmly pressing for third. It will be Ashland and Holliston. Holliston's closing. Anchors for both. It is going to come down to the final swimmer. Trying to press a 320 meet record set in 2012 by Hopkinton. Hopkinton now pressing for fourth position. Trying to move in to third. They are pressing Ashland. The center of the pool. It's a race between Ashland and Holliston. Ashland holding on. Holliston pressing. Half a body length separates them. Ashland, 327.52. Holliston takes second. Hopkinton pressing for third. Can they do it? No touchdown at the end. A great swim by Hopkinton, 337.79. But Ho Hopkinton will pick up fourth and fifth. Points they don't need to win this meet but they will take anyways. Phenomenal swims. Hopkinton takes four and five. A great meet as this wraps up. We are gonna take a moment as the Hillers begin to realize that they've won this meet. Some go Hillers and way to go Hillers. Raj, let's take a break for a sec. When they start to announce the scores, we'll come back. So we'll take a break when they get to announce the scores. We'll see the final and hopefully see a coach get wet. Did you know there are other ways to reduce your pain besides taking medications? For example, mindfulness. I'm Dr. Mike Guidi, family medicine doctor based in Essex County. I use mindfulness techniques with my own patients during office visits. And I'm here to tell you how you can prevent addiction. It is a way to train your brain to manage pain. Reducing your pain through mindfulness could mean you need less medication or a safer type of medication. It can also help you reduce your stress and recover from past trauma. That means you become less likely to develop an addiction, whether opioids, alcohol, or any other substance. In brain research, we scan people's brains before they start practicing mindfulness and after they've been practicing it daily for eight weeks. We see actual changes in the way their brains are wired. We see those people drawing more on their judgment and reasoning skills, resulting in safer behaviors. Massachusetts has great resources about effective mindfulness techniques. To find out more, go to massmed.org. So we're back. We have not been we have not been videoing the, the awards. What you're seeing is the final of the boys four by one hundred. What you what you missed was Hopkinton in the men's hundred breaststroke one two and three. The dagger that ended this meet early for Ashland. Also the girls in a new meet record for four by one hundred. And here are the final team scores. Dedham, 7th. Seven. Norton, 6th. Dover Shoreborn, 5th. Westwood, 3rd. The 4th. Holliston, 3rd. Ashland, 2nd place. We got the Hopkinton team.
confirming what we knew. Hopkinton wins convincingly. The TBL meet goes to Hopkinton. Incredible day today. Congratulations to head coach Jeff Libby. Congratulations to all the team. Sincerely hope one of these coaches ends up in the water. Some of these kids should end up in the water. They've had a lot to be proud, for, proud of. Great season, tough season, some great swims today. We saw records broken by Andrea Way in two individual events and a, also in a relay. Some records that hadn't fallen in quite some time. Hopkinton, a lot of guts, a lot of determination. A lot of handshakes. What we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap it up. If we do end up with a coach in the water, we might end up filming that. But we just got handshakes, teams congratulating. Hopkinton's got a lot of, to be proud of. They take the TVL championship uh, meet convincingly over Ashland in second place. The trophy will stay firmly in Hopkinton for at least the next year. We'll take a break and we'll see if we get a coach in the water in a minute. Hopkinton gonna do a final cheer. Coach Jeff will be in the middle. Nobody's gonna get wet, so we're gonna sign off. Kevin Legassi, Roger Zonigan. Roger, it's been a pleasure. It's been look, a pleasure, Kevin. Look for you next year. Roger's been doing both the mic and the uh, camera. He's quiet back there, but great swims today. It's been a good season. We'll sign off for Hiller Swim and Dive, TVL Champ, TVL Meet Championship League or Championship uh, Meet Champs, Hopkinton.